So, continuing on, we're going to finish the second part of this terrible Brendan Schub defense of Liver King. Then we're going to watch Liver King's apology. Then we're going to watch Joe Rogan's response. And then we're going to probably finish out the show. But let's, 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 let's continue. Let's continue and check this out because I feel like this second half is pretty impressive. And I didn't, I cut it off because I was getting frustrated, but I'm going to try and stick with it as much as possible. But let's see what the second half of this flipping interview has to say because Brendan's defense of Ficking Liver King is absolutely redacted beyond belief. But let's just continue. Let's hear what to say. I'm still but here's the thing, V. So here's the thing you brought up 300. Remember, 300 really started the surge <laughs> of. Um, Fucking the shit you like. Uh, CrossFit. CrossFit. Yeah. The, the, uh, the Spartan workout, right? Yes. Now, do you care that the gentlemen on the movie who were shredded, right? And obviously there was some graphics and shading and air spraying going on, but still, yeah. those guys were shredded. They started a movement that is actually really healthy. Yeah. That's do you right. care that the start of it was guys that were genetically modified on PEDs? No, the overall message was this cool CrossFit workout. I hate to, I hate to expose CrossFit, which I, I'm... What did he say? Cross. Hold on. You meant to say CrossFit. What did he say there? I hear that the start of it was guys that were genetically modified on PEDs. No, the overall message was this cool CrossFit workout. I what? He can't pronounce modified CrossFit. On PEDs. No, the overall message was this cool CrossFit workout. Genetically modified on PEDs. No, the overall message was this cool CrossFit workout. I hate to CrossFit workout. The nigga can't even pronounce CrossFit. Is that because he's got that shit in his mouth or is it because he can't pronounce the words, enunciate the words? Jesus Christus. CrossFit. Yo, if I was Liver King, I don't want this guy defending me. I'm sorry. If you can't pronounce CrossFit, you shouldn't be defending me. I don't want you to do it. Don't be in my corner, please. Stay out of my corner. Stay all the way over there, please. Holy shit. You could go sit with the ring card girls. Don't be in my corner. No, 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 no. No way. CrossFit fucking hell i hate to expose crossfit which i i'm a big fan of but even in crossfit if you look at fittest on earth if you look at the people who are competing in crossfit if you think for a second that there aren't some peds being used in the crossfit world oh really brian you hate to expose crossfit right you're the first person to expose the fact that some crossfit athletes may or may not be using peds shocking we would have never known this it's not because, you know, they've got their own reporters in that scene who've uncovered those cases. It's not because they've got entire subreddits and forums filled with people pontificating and debating on whether or not people use certain things. It's not because some people didn't get to compete in certain games and got banned because of their use of steroids. No, you might be exposing them. This guy, Honestly, I wish I had this level of self-importance and self-worth why legitimately felt like oh you know what i don't want to say too much because i may upset people i may say some stuff about the crossfit people that people might not know about crossfit one of the most popular flipping modern day sporting movements in the world a thing that has spurned millions and thousands of flipping boxes across the fucking globe you might be the person's fucking exposing them now you come on man come on and all you have to do is go to the crossfit when it first started 10 years ago 15 years ago whatever it was and crossfit now take a look at some of the women in that. no so we've done this before but of course yeah. everyone knows this yeah that's so what's I, so surprising me like how outraged some of the yeah but a lot of people, people a lot of people i think don't like to be lied to and a lot of people don't like to be uh they don't like somebody who is claiming ultimate health <laughs> and very very i will say this about the liver king we have to call people as it is that's natural we have to call well th that's incredible is that is that literally that's not the same person is it i think it is i, just I think it is i mean i assume they're on it um, hey but uh but, 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 Chin, but, can you see anything uh, to, but uh look at liver king's women. comments on steroids but, but look at those women. what he said but, but, before. but look at this woman can you go down to, to just go down right to that right the, the one to Here? the right yeah now bubba that's all natural though right that's 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 crossfit we don't care leave that woman alone she's competing at crossfit she's trying to gain any advantage that she can to be competitive clearly in a field full of other girls who also have incredibly ripped abs the competition is harsh the competition is solid in crossfit some people would argue in cross because i used to be a part of a crossfit box and i was heavy into the crossfit scene 10 or so years ago some people would argue that in CrossFit, unless you're born under, unless you're flipping under a certain height, especially if you're a dude, 
it's actually a disadvantage if you're taller. Some people would say that. Some people say if you're under five foot ten, you have more chance of becoming a crossfit champion than if you're over foot five foot ten. There's stuff about your the the, the, the length of your arms and legs and all this type of stuff. Aside from the steroids that can kind of affect your ability to do certain workouts and do and go through certain movement patterns. All these things can be an influence on it. So if you're an athlete in CrossFit competing in CrossFit, do what you want to do, right? Inject yourself with flipping horse semen, go and lick a donkey's balls, go and flip and take something up the ass in Brazil, whatever you may be doing in order to get the athletic edge. What we are saying is that Liver King was saying, in order to look like this, Liver King said, you should eat a cow's heart. You should eat livers and whatever it may be. And all this crappy intestines, raw, raw meat diet. That's what you should do. And you look like him. Then it got exposed that clearly he was doing other things on top of probably eating that shit that made him look the way he did. It's quite an easy concept to kind of get through your head if you're a decent human being, right? If you're not flawed and if you're not, you know, um, fucking broken to the core, it's pretty easy to get around the idea why people would be upset. It's kind of similar to a, it would be similar to what if Lu, if Lizzo kind of suddenly turned out, you know, incredibly fit and lost a bunch of weight. Some people within the fat, accept, fat acceptance and bod, whatever else that kind of community is called community scene should be and would be rightfully upset because she used the fact that she was fat in order to prepare her career to boast about being, you know, a different size than the conventional pop star and how that is somewhat normal and cute and cool and empowering then you suddenly lose weight and basically go against everything that you basically go against, you basically stand for so on one hand it's understandable she lost weight cool do your thing but you can also understand the people that get upset about it it's pretty easy to understand to explain the situation but somehow these guys are still struggling to get it through their flipping mongoloid heads why some people would be upset about it now again like i said before it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. But when ignoramuses try and defend the indefensible, it's like it's an insult to your intelligence. It's like, hold on, am I listening to the same thing? Am I watching the same thing? Because even I, who don't pay much attention to Liver King and just see him as a social media influencer type of guy, even I knew his ma his message at the foundation level was eat raw meat, look like me. That was the that was a main message, right? We already got a bad example of the raw meat diet for Jordan Peterson. He went fucking crazy after the raw meat diet. He suddenly took benzos and flew over to Russia. But we saw people out there, Joe Rogan was one of them, saying about the advantages of raw meat diet, how much, you know, vitality it gave him. He felt fresher, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And he jumped on it and took it to the nth degree, no top, um, you know, standing around with flipping organs and stuff and, you know, doing all that sort of weird cannibalistic shit and all that. And this is where we clearly are. Oh, shit. Donation. Have some donkey balls. <laughs> Big up Chris Hartree. Give it a night. Let's have some donkey balls. I'm going to be feasting on all them balls tonight. Thank you. But yeah, these guys are fucking incredible, man. I don't actually, I don't get why they're so confused as to why normal, normal everyday people who don't have the benefit of being in the industry or knowing how everybody lies would be upset. <laughs> of course not. But, but here's the thing with steroids, again, that the public don't understand. Take all the steroids you can find. Hit up you're the best back in the world. Those, you're those never going to be able to those compete with these sick women. Athletes. You're the, you're the, you know what? Is that, it's funny. Brendan's a textbook example of it. He's a textbook example of taking as many steroids as possible and still not having any physiological change. Because if you believe him and what he's actually said, he's taken a bunch. He's taken testosterone re replacement um, drugs. He's obviously done stuff to his lips um, and other bits and bobs he's probably done also. But because he has no self-discipline and no real work ethic outside of recording tons of shitty podcasts, he doesn't actually change his physiology in any kind of meaningful way. So he knows, even though, even though, even though, even though, he's probably the most critical when it comes to people that do use it. You'd imagine somebody who's tried to use it and it still failed will be a bit more understanding and appreciative of people who've been able to use it and still kill it in the gym because it still requires hard work. But if anything, the fact that he can't do it, even with all his access and money, it makes him way more bitter that people that have way more busier schedules than he does can still complete it in the same way because anytime they mention the rock and all these other people who use steroids and get jacked and um you know have these crazy busy lives he still finds a way to hate on them i find that very very interesting very very telling that's why if anything as much as he may hate the homeless cats he essentially bred them because he's the consummate hater he's actually hater number one it's really sly you don't see it too often but he's a consummate hater 
and it's no it's no surprise he's also flipping grifting and flipping capping for the liver king who everybody are, you know a resounding verdict on the internet is yeah that's a shitty thing to do no one's saying he should be thrown in jail no one's saying he should have his business taken away from him no one's saying that everyone's just saying it's a shitty thing to do you shouldn't lie to your fans you should be honest that's all anybody is saying don't lie and be shitty to your fans and profit profit off of it just be an honest dude and still do your grift and you're perfectly fine but these guys don't understand that concept the amount of work that they put in yes, to get to I that know, level it's crazy. is nuts but i do think bubba that the liver king exposed himself because he was very very um opinionated and insulting to other people and i think when you do that was he insulting yeah I he don't was think very so. very opinionated Yes. In a weird way, I'm grateful for the recent <laughs> events that have shed light on this company at this fuck topic. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when you're that, when you're that opinionated about health, B, and you're that, and you have built a whole tell, empire tell, being that but way. B, but he's not so. the first one to do it. BSN made billions of dollars selling products with Ronnie Coleman next to the fucking bottle. I understand. I'm just saying. You, you can't look at this. This guy is so full of shit. He's so infuriatingly dumb, isn't it? Legitimately infuriatingly dumb. This might be my Brendan Shaw breaking point. You know, when I say all the time, I've always kind of got my cape on, my little T Fat K cape. I've always got my little T Fat K 3D cape. I'm always flipping, arguing both sides. I'm always trying to come across somewhat reasonable and not just be laden with insult after insult after insult. I have to be honest, this might be my initial breaking point. Is he legitimately redacted or is he unable to understand the concept of maybe if you go out there and flip and start promoting an image that if you eat this raw meat diet, you can look like me, that that might be a bad thing and people might want to get to the bottom of it. And when they get to the bottom of it, they're going to be a bit upset. Why is he insulting my intelligence like this? Why am I having a hard time comprehending why he's saying this as a grown adult? Like, why can't you understand that some people will be pissed off just because, and, and why, and, and these false equivalencies, these whataboutisms are awful. Ronnie Common on a bottle of some protein powder isn't the same as flipping this fucker selling you a program and a methodology that's meant to make you look a certain way. Maybe it's assumed or it's maybe, a, it's like the, it's, it's like the model on a, on, on a bottle of shampoo. Does it mean because you put that flipping shampoo in your head, you're going to look like Giselle Bunchen? Obviously not. But who do you rather on that shampoo? my face or Giselle Bunchens? of course Giselle Bunchen. it makes complete sense because she looks I mean like like why do we have to speak about it? it's not because you put that shampoo in your head you're going to look like a fucking you know middle-aged black guy <laughs> it's the same, same thing if you would, would you fucking use that food I don't, I don't I can't even I don't have worse even I can't even articulate myself properly I'm, I'm getting too angry let's watch this saying that I think when you and that's alluding to I, look like take this yes, I take Celtec you look like Ronnie Coleman. He built a whole empire, made a fortune by being a sharp profile. I call this a sharp profile, opinionated, uh, taking the fight, being, you know, loving. <sighs> like he's you know, I love, you know, I hate the most. You know, I hate the most. Apart from Brian Callen trying his best to save the sponsors and the fact that he's wearing no socks with his sneakers. This is only something someone would do if they know they have a hedge fund, right? Like a middle-aged man who gets sent money from his dad and, you know, who's been brought up in, in in several countries around the world like this is what you do you have a toehold company you have a sandals company where you sell 500 dollar sandals you know from flipping um animals allegedly flipping killed in flipping Af african safaris and you also go around on podcasts wearing sambas that look like they've been run over with no socks but you know what's more infuriating than this his face the smugness and the dismissiveness in his face like it's not that big of a deal why are you guys making a big deal out of it you know what my guy it isn't that big of a deal, really. It really isn't that big of a deal. But you're making it worse by defending the indefensible. The guy lied. He lied. He got exposed. End of story. He can still have a career. Like I said before, no one's asking him to get thrown in jail. No one's saying, chairs, here's to your death. No one's saying that. He got exposed. He told a lie. Own up to the lie. Keep it moving. That's all we're saying. But my man cannot understand this concept. And it's flipping driving me crazy. Look at his face. Well, opinionated, uh, taking the fight, being, you know. Look at that face. Look at that face. Why is he doing this for? What's so hard to understand about this? Yeah, whatever. You guys don't really get it. Like, come on, Brendan, brother. Come on, man. Come on. I don't know if this is because he shields on it stuff, so he kind of has to have this point of view, which is weird because Joe Rogan goes really hard on Liver King. It looks like he really didn't like the guy as a human being, and he's making it pretty clear that he was nothing to do with the guy whatsoever. But 
I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he's, maybe he's doing this because that's probably one of the only high profile current guests they've had on their show who isn't cancelled. I feel like everyone else they've had on their show with the exception of maybe Bert has been some cancelled, has been who everyone's kind of cool on. But maybe Libby King was the first kind of current, you know, um, pop in person they've had on the show in a long time. And obviously, he knows if he's smart enough that even if, even with this negative press, Libby King's probably going to still command a healthy um, amount of people to watch shows and stuff and people that are going to tune in and whatever, maybe in views and all that kind of good stuff. So maybe that's the case in it. Maybe, 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 maybe. But either way. I find his defense of the Liver King so bizarre here, man. Loving, lo he's the guy you love to hate. He's the guy you love. Chin, guy. Has, he, has he said anything before on steroids? Or not the recent ones? Like, uh, like yeah. I can, I can think yeah, of I heard. Yeah. Of my head. One why are you asking? If you're defending him, why don't you know? Fucking. Oh. Donkey tranquilizer hit different. <laughs> Big up Uche for the final. <laughs> uh, you gotta love that good old donkey tranquilizer, man. Forget the cat tranquilizer. That donkey tranquilizer, you know what I mean too about donkey tranquilizer. If you don't see me for a month, you know I'm pushing that donkey work on the street. Like, do you know what I mean? But just don't tell my mom. <laughs> One of which would be he did this prank on, uh, like, he goes, here's the real secret. And he has like, he opens this like, you know, capsule of whatever, bone marrow. And it's like a trend bottle. <laughs> and then he, at the end he goes, this is obviously just a joke. This was my cameraman's idea. I don't even know where to get this stuff. So it's like, he has denied it many, many times. He, he responds directly on podcasts, but he also- BGL man, have some balls. Call your friend out. I know he's your best friend and you just, because- as much as I rag on the guy, I do have sympathy for him because I feel like you don't really find many friends in your older age, right? Especially for men, after a certain age, it's really difficult to find new friends. The friends you might have in school might have moved away or had different interests or raised a family. And now here you are, single guy, trying to go out on a weekend. And they're like, dude, I have four kids. I have a job in the morning. I can't be going out with you and sessioning and trying to pick up 19 years in Shoreditch. Not me, but somebody else, right? So clearly people have that kind of issue. So if he and his age, the big age has finally stumbled upon someone like a Brendan who legitimately, I feel I like appreciate him like a friend because he's one of his only actual real friends he has outside of people who he actually pays even though he pays him as well but less about that the better I understand his defense of the guy but this is more egregious because this BGL guy is actually involved in the bodybuilding industry he's involved in the weightlifting industry he's involved in that scene he's plugged in he's balls deep as those guys like to say he's knowledgeable about this shit so he should know more than anything how full of shit the liver king was and he knows more than anything that beforehand liver king was selling the idea that he doesn't use any gear i think he would be okay if he implied he didn't and didn't categorically ever say it like it was a thing that people were trying to catch him on oh why hasn't the liver king ever categorically said he never used, used steroids in the same way how jordan peterson refuses to say if he's a christian or not he's never but he, why did he ever say that he did he said it plenty of times he plenty of times said on record i've never used any gear i get all my strength from freaking uh you know the organs of fucking dead animals and clearly that is not the case and he should not bear and speak up for it but he's doing it with kid gloves because he doesn't want to piss off his friend but it's pissing me off also like seemingly has gone out of his way to like mock it and be like but then i had like i don't even know where to get this stuff so yeah. i guess you'd expect that from you know anybody and and bodybuilders of I, I will say this, I, denied it. Like, no, I, I like his message on the, the health side of things. If you do live that way, you're going to definitely feel. It's like his ears are closed up from the fucking cauliflower here he gave himself. Right? Look at Brian being exasperated. It's like he just doesn't get it. He's such an idiot. Um, Uche is right here, to be honest. That's basically the point of it. Why would he admit that he's a charlatan? Telling the truth is usually isn't their MO. And that's basically the point, right? That's essentially it in a nutshell. And that's probably also, I think someone left me a comment on the other clip I made where they said, this shouldn't be surprising. Like grifters will always defend grifters because essentially if one grifter gets exposed, that's a, that's a sort of, um, that's a threat to their grift also being exposed. And they're going to defend it naturally because it's like you're defending yourself. You don't even want to come after you. Clear. I understand that. But you could go about it a whole different way than this. Just come, just come, come from it from the point of view of counterculture. Just be like, hey, don't counsel the guy. He might have made a mistake. He didn't own up to this or that. But there's far worse things happening. Don't get me wrong. It's still what battles him. That's terrible. And you still look like a fucking idiot. 
But if you said there's far more terrible things out there in the world to worry about, there's this war going on in Ukraine, there's record unemployment here in LA, blah, 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 all the stuff you could speak about. Cool. To kind of put it into context and to sort of show people that it's not as big as the people are making it out to be. Fair enough. Everyone deserves a second chance. Fair enough. Look what happened to Brian. He was accused of multiple rapes. <laughs> I'm joking. Literally. No, but you know what I mean? Like, I get it. But this point that he's coming at, where he did nothing wrong because everyone else lies, is legitimately redacted. Better and probably live longer. I'm all about that. I do think, and he needs to take accountability when the steroids did get brought up to find a better way to do it. Like the celebrities, like if you ask The Rock, dude, they're <sighs> politicians with it. Yeah. You won't get an answer next thing you know. No. You're, you're talking about fucking. You know, yeah. Fiji. Yeah. Like, yeah. wait, yeah. Well, yes. what? Because, he, because a lot of work. kids look up to him. A lot of you know people. Yeah. So, 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 he could have been, and he needs to take accountability. If he comparing Liver King to The Rock is legitimately one of the most redacted things I've also heard in my entire life. So now he's trying to reverse. Interesting, right? He's trying to come around it, but again, he's coming around it in the weirdest place possible. He goes on a show, which I'm trying to help him out. If he goes on a long form podcast, is able to express this. He goes, oh, there we go. Now we've got the reason why he's defending him. He wants him to come back on the show. Now we see where his defense is coming from. I don't want to, hold on. Let me check it out on my phone. But it's pretty possible that that Liver King interview on the Fighting a Kid might have been one of their highest viewed videos in a long time. And maybe the clips that they uploaded on Instagram and on shorts and stuff also may have done very well for them. So they're probably looking at this from a purely monetary clout point of view and saying that this guy's a cash cow, he's current, he likes us for some reason, let's not burn this bridge. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. It is um, from two months ago, their interview with Liver King got 245k views, 245,000 views, sorry, two months ago. So clearly it's the best interview that they've had in a while because i'm looking at their list of interviews now and the one before that with dave rubin you know dave rubin's fucking any you know who gives a fuck about dave rubin, but still he's a known person his interview only got nine nine ninety three thousand views so clearly they know what they're doing they're defending him so that they can get back on the show i understand i understand i get it but brian's more worried about the sponsors probably because you know the podcast money is is obviously good and you don't want that cash cow to go just because brendan had the ability to fucking you know understand why people might be upset when people lie but this makes more sense now now i get it now can i'm a bit more calm i think this is what i think happened i think you should go i fucked up i gave you guys the impression that i was all natural and you know i have clearly and it's out look at him he's even struggling to lie he's, he's even struggling to admit to a lie that someone else said he can't even do that properly like he's stuttering all over his words he has no idea or no concept of what an apology means because in his head he does nothing wrong consummate narcissist right he doesn't even have to apologize for somebody else on behalf of them like they're not even in the room <laughs> there now i've dabbled in peds and steroids and hgh and all that stuff not and, dabbled but well you know what i'm saying like <laughs> exactly dabbled <laughs> If 11k a month is dabbled, what the f It's like Maradona saying, yeah, I may have dabbled in coke, you know, 100 grand, you know, a bill for some yay here and there. It's not too much, right? Just 100k. <laughs> dabbled. 11,000 on fucking HGH is dabbling. I, I've taken, I, and I have taken that stuff right. and I'm currently on it. But that doesn't take away from the fact my overall message and the lifestyle and the discipline I've... No, 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 no. It does take away from it. It takes away from everything. I'm sorry, it takes away from everything. It does. It's like when the Kardashians say, I'm like every other... Um... It's like when the Kardashians say, I'm like I'm like every other woman out there, right? Like, no, oh, no, 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 no. No, let me reverse that. It's like if the Kardashians came out, especially Kim, and said... I know how hard it is to be a single mom these days. Like that kind of, I don't think they're that dumb too. Cause you know, they, they are very unself-aware, but I don't think they're lacking self-awareness at that point. But if one of, the, that, that, one of the Kardashians came to a point and said, it's like, I'm like every other single mom out there or something along those kind of lines, the internet will blow up. Because guess what? Even though by definition, they are single mothers, they're not like every other single mom out there who has to essentially feed an entire household on one salary. 
who maybe doesn't have a job, who's balancing schoolwork, who lives in a rough part of the neighborhood, who maybe has a kid with a with a with a flipping d- disability they're having to look after, who maybe is pregnant or dealing with, dealing with their own health issues. That is not the same as every other every other single parent. It may be the same on paper, technically, but it's not actually the same. If he did that, oh my god, that would be fucking incredible. So that's the same sort of lie. That's the same sort of lie. It's the same sort of lie Living King did. Oh my god. I've lived for 35 years of continuous working out, taking care of my body, putting the right food, the right uh, well, nutrients. You and I remember- but it doesn't matter, does it? Because no one cares everyone knows that's a that's a that's a given if you're going to work out and look good you're going to eat well and you're going to work out a lot that's a given he said to achieve his physique which is very impressive to look at to the eye because he looks pumped he looks juiced he looks ripped and he looks fucking dense that's the kind of look most bodybuilders and people that got gym want. you want to look full up you want to look fucking muscular and like you can fucking you know um pop a fucking avocado between your bicep and your forearm if you flexed hard enough that's how you want to look so clearly he was giving that impression to get that added extra juice and that rip and that flipping you know pumping your flipping biceps and your tits was to flipping eat cow liver and clearly that's not true I remember watch him but then i would hold on me then i would say then then i'd go you know i think it got his by the way worst apology ever right attempt this one is from brendan like, what is this? Like, horrendous. But this is also the same person who said, define bullying. Define lying. This is... <laughs> define selling your... Define being a snake oil salesman. Define selling your fans a lemon. <laughs> define duplicity. <laughs> define scam artist. <laughs> Fame, like, blew up. He went viral so fast. Yeah that it became this secretive monster where he's like, okay, well, I've gone too far down the rabbit hole now. I say it's steroids. I'm super fucked. And, but the, it, someone should have gotten his ear and went, it's good. They're going to come for you, dude. It's going to come out, buddy. Like, you should, we should address this now before we keep going down this road. Because the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. So you just need to take accountability. Yeah. Fucked up. But the overall message is still there. Yes. Man, you know? Yeah, that, that's a good point, dude. I think it's like, you know, the overall message, ancestral living, there's something to be said for that. It's great. I've got friends who've done, been doing it way before he came it's along. It's not for me. It's great. Yeah, I, have friends in- I like how they show and grip for somebody, but they don't use his products. They just want to use him for the views and the engagement he obviously gets. It just exposes how fucking vapid and empty and fake that whole scene is, right? They don't use any of his products. They don't endorse any of his messages, but they just want to use him for the views and the engagement. That's it, basically. Because at the first point of scandal... They all ran away. Obviously, Brendan's trying to get him on to be the fucking, to turn the podcast into the bastion or the safe space for the cancelled and stuff, which is a very terrible pivot to be a part of because sooner rather than later, you're going to end up with somebody on your set that isn't somebody you should be associated with in the, in the slightest. But I just find that very interesting. And it worked for them. I've seen it work. But um, I do think that at the end of the day, the lesson here is, I've, I've said this from day one, man. If you're lying in one way or another, and especially if you build an empire on a lie, you're going to get it's going to find you. Yeah, you're going to get found out. And you wish somebody from. His- and I think I think the, the funny thing about it is that Brendan's lucky. Brian's lucky, too, in his way, shape or form, because they're both people who, despite being very popular in their own niche, they're irrelevant in the kind of grand scheme of things like you know, general public don't really give a fuck about the firing a kid or Brendan Schubert or Brian Callen. So when they get cancelled, it's harder to recover or bounce back or ignore because essentially no one cares. Because if those guys were far bigger celebrities than what they actually were, Brendan allegedly trying to fuck Bobby Lee's wife would be a bigger issue. Him allegedly trying to get Annie Lederman to suck his dick in the truck would be a far bigger issue. Um, him allegedly trying to, you know, pin the whole homeless cats thing on fucking Bobby Lee as a conspiracy theory might have been a bigger issue. Um, Brian Cannon's alleged rapes might be a bigger issue. This might have been a far bigger thing than it obviously was at the time so maybe them seeing somebody who's far bigger than them get exposed the way he's getting exposed and how it's been damaging their career it's kind of given this kind of fight or flight thing where they kind of immediately get protective and get scared and want to you know immediately defend and excuse because it kind of exposes and highlights to them how fragile their careers are and how much they're hanging on a thread essentially 
because if not for the Rogan Association and maybe the fan base, whatever, because I think nowadays, if you have a solid enough fan base, you're not going to get cancelled. Look at you look at Chris Lear, right? Um, he's got a decent fan base from all the time he's been on TV and doing stand-up for ages, where he's been essentially been able to kind of buffet any kind of, you know, accusations and stuff and basically get himself back onto his feet to the point where now he's selling out, you know, arenas with 6,000 tickets and whatnot. So clearly, cancellation doesn't work if you're a certain level. But I feel like this thing happening to Liver King in real time, them seeing him on his pod, seeing the bump it gave in their views, seeing what he did after the fact and then getting exposed in a very short period of time has kind of shook them up a little bit because they probably only discovered Liver King in the last six months. They got him on his show in two months and then two months later, he's essentially been exposed as a charlatan. So it must be quite like hard to take to see in real time. Oh my God, shit, that could be me. His team were like, yeah, hey, I know it's got out of control and it's like, you know, you're doing all this stuff, but okay, we, sh we should address this at some point. So this is part of my take. The Liver King uh, admits to taking PDs on part of my take, and that was a... But no, it was, so he made a joke about it. It was, it was like performing, endurance, and something like he made the, you know, it become a different... This Bradley Martin claimed that he admitted it on his show or alluded to it. I'd love to see the actual clip because... That's what Bradley Bradley told me that I was talking to Bradley last night. Can I go, dude, how about Liver King? I'm saying I'd love to see that. Yeah, I mean, too, I would too. I've never seen I don't it. Believe him. Yeah, I, I don't know. I would, I would look it up. I saw it. I saw it. Saw you it. saw it too? Because I asked him... Well, you, you saw the interview. I said, did, did you clip it out? Allude? challenge you a little bit and we talked about the truth why do you not tell people about your steroid use this is a great question right because of what it implies okay right i think a better question really is it's the same question do you take things right but, but my, my answer has been the same because i've always told the truth and, and you can say or think whatever you want of course right but but at the end of the day like this is what my message is really all <laughs> he's such a bullshit no one day honestly they, they took the same in it him and brendan it makes sense why he'd be you know, friendly with him. It makes a lot of complete sense. All about yeah. is it's the nine ancestral tenants. And did you know 50 years ago, we had on average 50% higher testosterone? You know what he's doing there, which is funny. Remember before Brendan said, um, look at The Rock. He gets, he, he basically saying The Rock gets away with steroid use and he doesn't have to answer it and fess up to it, even though The Rock's a fucking, Dwayne Johnson's a multi fucking billion dollar brand in itself you know the he can't be associated with that kind of stuff and say it out loud because it affects certain deals we know he can't say it but we all know the truth and he's not trying to shill and sell products in the in the you know he's not selling under armor trainers in the guys that you're also going to get a chest like his he's not doing that but he said earlier on that the rock basically can skirt the questions and turn them to his favor and maybe twist it like a politician the liver king's doing the same thing here yeah so if you just think about that, right, we could probably go 50 to 100% higher just by doing... Collier, it's not, it's not spray on tan, mate. He's, he's actually Mediterranean. He's actually half Brazilian, actually. You know what I mean? He's actually from, you know, the Amalfi Coast. That's why he looks like that. The nine ancestral tenants. We're back to normal. Isn't that what most people do with steroids? They try and do steroids to increase the testosterone by 50 to 100% for the most part. Well, and, and so I don't know exactly what the numbers are, but, but what, I'll, what I'll say is this, like if somebody has, let's say, 700, you know, testosterone, free that's, testosterone, that's high. And, and <laughs> if they're taking steroids and they want to get up to 1,400, 1,500 or whatever, it's insanely it, high. guess what, you can do the same thing with the nine ancestral tenants. No, you can't. And if you do the nine ancestral tenants, this, this is where he gets in trouble. Over this I don't know if he can say no. No, no, hold on. You know, you're, you're, keep going or? No, that's See, great. See, but, but here's the thing. I'm missing you the admission. You see? I don't understand. I, honestly, this is. Mission. Well, he, on, he went to people asked that I take stuff. The truth. Hold on, guys. And that's, I... that's a lie. <laughs> exactly. On. What he just did there was he said. This is, this is definitely a personal moment for him. This, the faces he's pulling, all these, little, all these little ticks he's having. I think it's like a real, it's a hard to take moment because it's essentially, it's like you're looking at somebody else's trousers get pulled down and you're thinking, shit, is my neck? Do I have my belt on? Did I, did I uh, moisturize my legs? Does my dick look small? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's having the same thoughts here too. I think this is one of those moments. I think that whoever left me that comment about grifters, you know, other grifters seeking solidarity and other grifters and stuff and protecting others is, is, a, is, is a real good point. Because I can't think of many grifters who attack other grifters because if anything, it'll put more attention to yours. So you have to kind of always, always, always protect. Hold on, he said. Oh, he did on Bert's show too. He said, he said, he said. Uh, that's a great question. At the end of the day, if you have 700 testosterone, you want to bring it to 1,400. You can you can do that with the the nine nice. and central. That'd be tests. tough. That's not true. That'd and be you tough. You can't. That'd be and tough. And so what he's doing is he's he's, t he's he's not answering the question, and he's saying take my, do my, do what I'm selling, and you don't need steroids. 
So I can understand why people are, I'm sorry. Is that not a positive message, Obi? Yeah, it's- Would you rather- Is this guy a f- Oh my God. It's, it's, well, it would be easier if he took steroids. It's a little snake him. oil. It's a little snake oily, Bubba. Also, he didn't admit it. It's a little he snake oil. He admitted it on my show. I'm like, and how can he not understand what a lie is? This is this this person is absolutely incredible. I can't wait until he kind of does the reverse, especially when Rogan said what he said, and he's gonna come out and pretend like he didn't say all these things and try and wreck on it. But my theory is that the podcast that they record next after the fact that Liberty King apologized and Rogan flipping insulted him on his pod with Bradley Martin. My theory is that Brendan Schaub will probably double down and still say he's a great guy just to be a contrarian. And also because I feel like he's not on the best of terms with Rogan overall. I feel like that those handler comments and how the fight like last fight companion went, I feel like they're not on, they're not on the same level of friendship as they were before in the past. And he kind of feels like he needs to assert himself and be the big dog and whatnot, you know, all that sort of nonsense. So I've got a feeling he was gonna he's gonna double down and triple down next pod. Watch it. He's gonna triple down and double down. I bet you any money. And and no, I, and, and I can all. see why people would now go let me, did, did you do it on yeah, it's gonna be tough to do. Uh, well you can't look the, the, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm not defending that. You did that. Yes, you are defending you, you fucking ignoramus. You're talking out of both sides of your mouth. Or if I did that, you'd call me and go, hey, what the fuck are you doing? No, I wouldn't. You know, I don't give a fuck. No, but you do because- Of course I wouldn't because I lie too. I sell fucking, what was he selling? Rogue and what what was he selling? Like hippo vitamins and fucking fake fucking um, Japanese whiskey, you know, wearing every jersey under the sun. Of course he wouldn't call somebody out. Why would he? I'm, I'm busy doing my own thing. At no, the end of the day, I, I would say I'd say B. Here's what there's a I'm not defending the fact that yes, he you took are, steroids. You can't. I knew from the second no, 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 but he, that, no, that no, was you're defending the lie. You're defending the lie. You you defended everything, didn't he? He defended the fact that he took steroids and he should have known. He defended his right to lie, because everyone else lies. <laughs> and he defended everything. He, he even he even insinuated, I think there's a part who insinuated that the more place more dates guy went about it the wrong way or something. Let's see if we get to that. No, B, I'm, saying, I'm that, saying from the second he walked in this door, I went, oh, he's definitely on that, you. That was a lie. Before though, I see him. That was a lie, Bob. I can't let him, I can't let him slide on that. Ridiculous accusation. That was a lie. Let me see this. What he said this is, is Bert's. Here we go. 40, 47 seconds. Hold on. But, but here, here's why that doesn't bother me, B. It bothers me. It, it, does, it doesn't be. It doesn't be. Name somebody that has a product in the supplement space that's told you the truth. That's go. why, that's why supplements go. are dirty business. That doesn't mean it's right. I'm not excusing anybody. Exactly. Isn't that like an easy thing to understand? Just because everybody lies, does it mean it's right? And maybe there's some supplements there that have the, you know, they, they, they imply certain things, but do does any of them categorically come out and say, if you take my fucking supplement, that you also will be able to run a fucking, you know, uh, a one an under one hour fucking marathon do any of them say that probably not come on man if you sell supplements that don't work then you're lying and i i i, I would never do that you know why you know why let me okay great question hey, great B, question let me ask you this before you I, go I, I, we've said no to how many supplement companies the reason i believe in on it this is not a commercial for on it here's why i believe in on it yeah, it's real i shit. watched fucking aubrey Marcus and joe rogan who owned the company started the company i watched them take the supplements themselves alpha brain i watch them with my own eyes over and over yeah, take those no supplements. but be also this is meant to be a comedy podcast by the way two professional comedians and they're arguing arguing over the merits and the validity of fucking fake supplements liver king all this sort of nonsense they're meant to be funny and also why are brennan i just noticed this now why are brian callen's legs spread spread so wide Spread, spread so i'm getting a fucking chauvinism is affected me what the fuck is going on with these legs why are his legs always so purposely spread so wide he has his legs spread so wide and brendan always goes out of his way to cross his legs what's with these guys and this stuff why is the guy that should be more of a chad with his legs and have them spread out so he can let his nuts hang not doing it but the guy that should be more you know effeminate and cute and sincere and sensitive the way he sits down purposely spreading his legs like those you know man spreading those remember those anti-man spreading adverts that people were putting out for a while about you know men being too you know dominant and 
comfortable on public transport and you know letting their fucking knees touch other people's legs and shit why is his legs spread so wide like that i don't understand this maybe he's trying to maybe because he doesn't want to sit on the seat and make it feel like it's a fucking um uh it's a baby buggy right because when he sits in it normally maybe he kind of feels like he's got too much room and he can kind of move around in it but i don't know it's, it's very strange how he sits like that to be honest i find that very very weird my, but my wait, thing is, but, if but, that but, bothers wait, wait, you, are you but, mad at the government that they, they told you about the vaccines and all this no, shit? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm you know saying, what I'm saying? It's like, no, we don't know what you're saying. You're trying to get COVID into involved in fucking liver king. Where I'm do you draw the line? People are worthy. You draw the line that lies, Brian, Brendan. You draw the line that lies. If people lie, it's a bad thing. That's where you draw the line, motherfucker. You draw the line at fucking lies. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking... People are going to get blasted. Yo, big up Johnny, big up, big up. Love to you too. And and hate when you say you can raise your testosterone to 700 by doing my ancestral tennis, meaning, i.e., you buy my product. I'm sorry, I have to be honest here. And I think a lot of people agree with that, and that's why we're getting this. You, 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 that, that, is, that is a form of... Lying. Um, it is. It's, it's a form, you're, you're selling something. Smoke and mirrors. You're selling something for a lot of money that is well, i shouldn't be surprised though where are those 600 page documents brendan where are those documents what happened to those documents what happened to this fucking secret undercover cabal of child abusers who were fucking running the homeless cat subreddit and who were attacking you and trying to destroy your life where are those 600 pages someone fucking tell me where those 600 pages are ah uh, they don't exist because you lied it's no surprise liars fucking will protect liars it makes complete sense but like I said, it's not even that big of a deal. It's fucking infuriating. They're making it such... <sighs> it's not going to give you the results you are saying it's giving you. You ha that, that, I'm sorry, but we, we have to be... I, I, that, I, and I like this but guy. But that's marketing in general. I'd say. But, 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 every, that, every but that doesn't mean it's right. And I so that's marketing in general. So those MLB jerseys you are selling, were they MLB quality jerseys? Or do you just find really thick cotton jerseys? And because they felt nice to touch, you immediately thought they were MLB level. Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me. I, and I'm I, not saying it is. Yes, but but you can't defend it either. Because no, I'm defending. The, I'm I'm not defending. You like the guy. I, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying he's a good human no, no, being. No, no, I here's what His you're marketing saying. is smoking man. Uh, by definition, if you lie, can you be a good human being? I know we all lie, but if you get caught in a lie like this, can someone's defense of you be you're a good guy? <laughs> it's kind of the wrong wrong thing to say at the wrong time no no the right thing to say at the wrong time right maybe all of the wrong thing to say at the wrong time if you get caught cheating and you're literally on top of somebody you can't then say oh he's really trustworthy he's really loyal right you can't maybe later in life you can say that but in that very moment when you see that person you know pulling the ponytail of somebody that isn't their wife and you know running them ragged across a hotel room somewhere in that very moment you can't then say that person is the bastion of a good dad or a good partner you kind of have to leave that to the side maybe later let them build up the rep again and they can be a good guy but for that moment that particular moment you can't say they're a good guy you can't really say that <laughs> we don't even know how much money this guy made in this what was it two years something they said right two years that he's been really active with the liver king thing i don't know how long it was however long it was how much money he's made off the back of this lie or this or this implied lie or this kind of uh vague thing that he threw out there because if it's in the millions off of the back of this this is fucking it's a bit it's a bit you know well but it's also the supplement well to, it's for, a supplement i think what I, what I would say about this guy is that he is a guy who is at the end of the day if you do what he's saying which are the nine essential tenets you're probably going to be healthier than if you do something like play video games and eat Doritos or whatever it is, okay? Well, those so are overall, the, overall, the message is, if you do this, you're probably going to live a better life. You're going to no, be healthy. No, no, Duh. If Kim Kardashian said doing sit-ups is good, cool. We know sit-ups is good. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that you have a whole entire science lab in the basement of your house, allegedly, where you get all your work done. So you don't have to even leave your own room in order to get all the fucking cosmetic surgery you need to get done. So you can't come out and just say, if you do setups and take cold plungers, you can look like me. Because clearly there's other things on top of that. That's all we're saying. Scout, that's move, guaranteed. That. Yeah. So everything guaranteed. you're saying, there's nothing wrong with that. No, that's I health. think what people are saying is that, hey, dude, 
you're claiming that you look that way mm -hmm. because you do that. You look that way be, because, in fact, you do all the all the PEDs. And, and he, and he should have had somebody in his ear the way these Hollywood guys, Hollywood guys do, like The Rock, no, like we, Vin Diesel. Your mother's like the, in your ear when you're a kid. Hell. That's exactly. not right. Exactly. And, and you would exactly. never do that, and I wouldn't. I mean, I certainly wouldn't. I can't live with myself that way. From day one on this podcast. Oh, it shut him up. Look, it shut him up. It shut him up. Look, he shut up. Thank God we got a common sense way of saying things. Hollywood people. You know why he was saying Hollywood people? He was saying that so that he could then insult The Rock. Because I don't know why, why it is about Brenda, but he's got a thing against The Rock. He doesn't like The Rock for some reason. And everyone likes The Rock. For some reason, he doesn't like him. Even though I've heard as well, unfortunately, from somebody who's worked um, with him on a set somewhere who said that he was really horrible in real life, which is really bad. I want to I wanna believe he's a really big, uh, amazing, soft, cuddly teddy bear type of dude, how he comes across on camera, but that person said he was a nightmare to deal with. And I'm hoping it's just an, it was just an isolated incident. Maybe he didn't get enough sleep. Maybe he couldn't find the gym or something. But Brendan really has a bone to pick with, with The Rock. I think because he's universally loved. I think maybe that might be the reason. Or maybe because he knows something about him from behind the scenes. But he seems to have a real bone to pick with um, with The Rock. But I love this segment. This is when Brendan finally got through to him. He finally, finally got through to him. Look at this, look at this. He finally I do got like through. The Rock, no, like Vin Diesel. Your mother's like in your ear when you're a... Uh, yeah. what be because, in fact, you do all the, all the PEDs. And he, and he should have had somebody in his ear the way these Hollywood guys do. Like The Rock, no, like we, Vin Diesel. Your mother's like in your ear when you're a kid. That's not right. And and you would never do that, and I wouldn't. I mean, I certainly wouldn't. I can't live with myself that way. That, that shut him up and got him doing that thing that I say all the time. Uh, Brendan's always got a little towel and a tick whenever he feels like uncomfortable with stuff where he kind of chews the side of his mouth a lot. Like, he does this. He's got a little towel, a little tick. I think we all got one. We've all got a similar sort of thing. And clearly he, he felt a little bit uncomfortable here and started doing that side chill mouth thing. But hilarious, isn't it? Only Hollywood agents, only CAA agents... Only people at Warner, only people at HBO, Showtime can tell you the fucking concept of lying, can teach you principles, can in can fucking instill morals in you, ways of life, ways of looking, um, code of ethics, you know, rules for life, all this sort of things, lessons. Only those guys could tell you something. Not your mom, not they don't exist. What mom? What dad? But you know, maybe because his mom used to lie too, who knows? Allegedly. I don't know. I don't know. From day one on this podcast. Fucking day one, we've had these conversations. We had it with Rogan too. No, I've never assumed it's like yeah. no, but I'm saying <laughs> no, ne never not, crossed my mind. I'm no. not buying. I'm not. Well, I'm not selling shit. How many times did we have really big sponsors back in the day? And I said I don't use that problem. <laughs> well, remember when we lost that sponsor at Toyota? Yeah, because we couldn't. It was the stupidest read of all time. I can't do we, it. We, we should release that. We could not stop so laughing funny. to get through it. So Literally, funny. because I was like, man. <laughs> Yeah, they can't have Toyotas, can they, right? They can't have Toyotas, right? Got to drive a Ferrari and a Porsche. Of course, Toyotas, the fucking peasants' cars, and that you can't drive Toyotas, mate. Toyotas are for peasants. They're for the poor. Let's laugh at that, Adarid. <laughs> Play that, Chen. Do we yeah. have that? Yeah, we do. But let's just listen to it. Just so this do you, is. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Hold on, let's button this up. Okay. Yeah, we would. It, yeah, it has to be let's, authentic. Let's button this up. I just think with the Liver King, it, the space that he he's in. And it doesn't make it right, be to your point, and you know, but he's doing what every single person does in fitness across the board since the beginning of time. And if you thought he was natural, you're a moron. <laughs> yeah. It just Yeah, blame us. Blame the public, of course. Blame the public for letting themselves get duped. Of course. Thanks. That's a resounding way to kind of, you know, um present yourself or present the argument to defend him. Yeah. Blame blame the fans. I say as far as the specifics of his cycle, although people will list the fact that he took like eight different things, I'm not impressed with like the strength of what he's taking. 120 milligrams test, 120 milligrams DECA, 50 milligrams a day of Winstrol, and a lot of HGH, but it's farmer grade. That's where the number of like 15K a month comes from is the shit's really expensive. He's taking about 10 IUs a day, which is a high dose, but not unheard of in bodybuilding. And then a few other things that are like, growth hormone agonists that like pr promote your own body producing growth hormone or like uh, IGF-1. Yeah, an mm -hmm. IGF-1. So if you take all that growth hormone stuff together, that's not actually that powerful. You know what I mean? And so I think just the, the missing component is always he were say 14. Nigga, shut up, BJ. Shit. Yeah. And he was, I'm 44 years old. 
I work out like a savage. I have a problem taking time off. So the work ethic is there. Yeah. The, 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 all that is there. His body, whether he was on the stuff or not, would be pretty damn good. Not probably this good, but would be yeah. pretty fucking good yeah. with the way he eats, yeah. trains. Yeah. He trains like a straight up like it's his job. Yeah. Like you, yeah. And he didn't like, think these were going to get leaked or anything like that. So we know that's authentic. His work ethic and yeah. discipline's authentic. Like he would fuck the cross games up. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah. on the, these guys, these pros, yes. these two day workouts yeah. every fucking day. So let me see um, this here. What, what is I'll this? I'll just play. This is how he skirted this one. Yeah, I take PEDs. People say I have ab implants. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, but, uh, can we be honest? Like you, you definitely take PEDs. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna be on for the. I'm, I'm, I'll be All honest. right, here we go. I take PEDs. Yeah. I prioritize, execute, and oh, dominate oh, every gosh. every. Every fucking morning. Every morning. I, that's the way to go around it, says, though. Yeah. That's a political answer, right? No, it's not a political answer. It's a fucking lie, you absolute derp. And take off that fucking England jersey, you bandwagon cunt. Oh, my God, man. He's so infuriating. It's like if you bring a, if a politician, you put him on the spot. Did you or did you not walk and you lead him into your truck? It depends what a truck is. Okay. Did you or did you not slide into Kyla's DMs? It depends what DMs are. Okay, you're a liar then. See? Done. The, and it, to me, it's a real art. They're so good at going over yeah, here. Good luck with that. I mean, yeah. Will- so we're seeing what he's, what he's doing now. He wishes probably he could get away with a grift that Liver King did and make the money he did. He obviously also wishes he had the... Um, the a bit the the fucking intelligence and the wearable to be able to coherently put together a deceptive lie and skirt around answers and questions and shit right that's what he basically hopes that's what he's saying here he's sort of projecting he wishes he could do those things now i'm getting it i'm getting it i'm getting where the defense is coming from he recognizes that he's a terrible liar he recognizes he's also a grifter and he also in his own way supposedly allegedly we don't know maybe sells stuff that doesn't necessarily do what he says it does and clearly he wishes he could have the ability to skirt questions and make money the way liver king does and have his popularity the way he does also i bet you well, it's politicians. All of them do it. Yeah. yeah. But with him, it's like, yeah. I, I think that he's never really actually admitted it. So what we see here is that, again, he's what he just did. What, so people have a right to be. And I like, you know, I like the guy. I, I, I had a good time with him. But at the end of the day, he's a liar. You know, people are going to be outraged. You continue to point to the fact that what is getting him there is his his exercise and his mindset. Uh that is dishonest because it's not yeah. though. Be that's one it of the facts. That hundred percent. It's hundred percent dishonest. How can it not be dishonest? You fucking. Oh my god, this guy is annoying. I don't get it. I don't get it. No one's denying that he does not wake up at six a.m. and go for runs and do two a day workouts and do a million wads a day and only eats white rice and chicken or just eat salad with fucking protein or whatever else he does. No one's denying he does that. That's a given. But he tried to tell you that he doesn't take any PEDs. <laughs> what he clearly he does. <laughs> Liar King in the comments. Yeah. It's L's in the chat, mate. Liar King is in the chat. Bring up your L's. Let me see those L's. Let me see those Liar Kings in the chat. Throw up those L's in the chat. L's in the chat. L's in the chat. Dishonesty. It's not. Brent. It no beat. Hold on. I'm with you. He fucked up not I mean the steroids. But to say that he wouldn't be in insane shape with that work ethic, that diet? That. I didn't say that. No, you. but you said he's lying to say that that lifestyle. I'm saying when you say, uh, when you say. He's not I, saying that's I, the I, only thing that got him there. Listen, listen, there, there is, there is, he's making a lot of money selling his formula. Look, babe, she was, she wanted to lift home. So I just walked her to my truck. I didn't want her to suck my dick. She just was looking for a lift home she had her thumb out like one of those hitchhikers on the road i recognize her from the store so i said why don't you walk me to my truck or why don't you get in my truck it's still my fault i was just asking kalala if i could have bobby lee's dl's i wasn't getting in contact with her so i could flip in fuck her or anything i was just contacting kalala to find out when they were going to record the next episode of tiger belly podcast even though they have their schedule out on social media and even though i can just see the scheduled post that they're going to post on youtube later on that's all i was doing i wasn't doing anything wrong i wasn't doing anything wrong i'm just repeating what my lawyer said my lawyer said there's 600 pages so i just repeat what they said i didn't lie just to cover my own back because i didn't have a leg to stand on no of course not come on man that's not a lie i just wasn't aware 
someone needs a tr- someone needs a, someone needs to you know get some exercise and he needed to get her steps in so i said why don't you walk me to my truck you get an extra five thousand steps on your apple thing and then we can continue on that's all it was it's a big truck it's a ford f-150 fully kitted out it's got loads of room why don't you all come into my truck you can come into my truck you come into my truck everyone comes into my truck that is the nine ancestral tenants mm-hmm. and all those supplements. Good message. Good supplements. Uh, maybe, maybe not. You know what would be the equivalent to what I'm thinking about? Because this will just defeat the whole Brendan Schulz um, argument. Do you know there's that meme that goes around or people show of um, of uh, Jordan Peterson in his room on live stream and the back behind the room is all messy and something's like, oh, like, you know, uh, the meme of like, uh, clean your room. It'd be the same thing about that. If you found out the guy that says tidy your room lives like an absolute pig. It will probably take away from his message in the same way how Jordan Peterson basically devolving into this human he is now has maybe tainted or devalued or taken away a, a bit of who, of his luster. It's the same thing as if you lied about, you know, not taking gear might hurt your image a little bit and make you look away. It's not going to end your career. It's not not enough for you to get thrown in jail. But lying does have some consequences. Some, 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 some. Not to everybody because we're not all the same. And we don't have all the the advantage of having fucking former CAI operative dads and stuff. Or, you know, multimillionaire fathers. Cool. But it does have some consequences. And that if your consequence is reputational damage, so be it. That's all people are saying. That's it. I've not heard one person advocating for him to get taken off social media. I've heard no one advocating for him to get thrown in jail. I've heard no advocating of him to end his career as an influencer, fitness type of stuff, and go and live a normal quasi life. I've just heard people saying it's disappointing. He should have owned up to it. That's it. I don't know about supplements. I've general. used the supplements. I'm telling you, good supplements. I know, I know, supplements. I know supplements. Yeah, well, good supplements. Okay. You can keep defending him. What I'm trying to tell you is this. I'm defending his program, not him doing but, steroids. But, 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 but you still have to look at the fact that he is, he is saying and suggesting that what got him there and what can get you there, what can get you there, and that is what he's saying. But get right. weird, though, B. But get weird. Look at, him, look at him trying to be smart, but get weird. <laughs> be precise. Be weird. Bruv, define get. Define get where. Define ancestral tenants. Define all meat diet. Define carnival diet. <laughs> you know when people think, you know when people are dumb and they think they're smart. That's the worst thing. It's better when you're smart and you actually act dumb. But when you're dumb and you think you're smart, it's usually the worst thing because you just come across like an absolute idiot. Be looking essentially like this. He's never said you're going to look exactly that like is exactly me. exactly what's implied. Oh man, I disagree. And, and, and so he's saying essentially <laughs> if, you, if you look at that, um, then you can get your testosterone from 700 to 1400 using the nine ancestral tenants. Yeah, if I was him, I, w- I wouldn't use true. the numbers. Yeah, that's, I w- I, if that's where he yeah. fucked up, I wouldn't use numbers. Oh, look at him. If I, if I lied, I wouldn't give numbers. <laughs> Funny you say that, innit? Doesn't he do the same thing with his ticket sales, right? Nearly sold out. Can you tell us how nearly sold out you are? Have you sold out one ticket out of 100? 10 out of 100? 20 out of 100? How sold out are you really? One ticket remaining? Five tickets remaining? 1,000 tickets remaining? <laughs> There's never numbers associated with him at all. It's zero. <laughs> numbers. Yeah, but the- you could say it raises your testosterone, which is true. Okay. Which is true. If you do deadlifts, you eat right, you can raise your yeah, testosterone. Yeah, yeah. Now, that much? Probably not. At the end of the day, for me, it, it comes down to this. Um, I never was going to buy something. I- it comes down to this. Fuck around or fuck around, find out. He fucked around and he got found out. Simple as that. I found him a very entertaining guy. And I was very aware that he was clearly taking a shitload of stuff. Yeah, you and I were if you've been in alive, that. If you've yeah. been alive, you know that. Correct. And he's playing a character. He's walking around naked wearing... Uh, a pelt mm-hmm. and and, 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 and and yes and not showering and living it and he's and he was a cartoon character fun guest and it was a great way to market his business which he did and continues to do if you bought all those supplements and bought in the nine ancestral tenants 
I'm sure you'll be healthier than otherwise. Guarantee you'll you will. Be in shape and yeah, everything guarantee else. you will. That's you a work that's, out that's a guarantee you can give you. Live the liver king lifestyle. It's fine. Yeah, you feel good. If you think you're going to get that way without other stuff, then you're just simply naive. And I think that's where. And you deserve it. <laughs> okay, that's why you're a cunt, isn't it? So taking advantage of naive and gullible people is allowed and okay, and smirk and smile on your face. But that essentially goes to show why these guys are pieces of shit because you should be trying to protect the naive you should be trying to educate and um uh, inform right the naive as best as possible and guide them through the decision process as much as possible and tell them hey these are the options laid out for you i know you're naive and you don't know what you're doing and i'm going to hold your hand through the entire process and help you make a decision and actually whittle it down to fucking free choices that's what you should be doing with the naive and the gullible you shouldn't be trying to exploit them especially if you're part of the privileged few you should be going every way to avoid exploiting those who are naive because they don't have much resources they don't have much funds they, they can't continue they can't keep paying 120 pounds for a fucking ebook e or for a course every single month they have limited resources so you should be doing your best to make sure if you are going to attract or market yourself to the vulnerable to the naive that they're getting the most bang up for their buck because you know that the, the, their money doesn't go as far but the fact that they get glee and they laugh and smirk about taking advantage of the naive and the ones who don't know and the ones who are uneducated allegedly according according to them is bullshit to be honest is legitimate bullshit because really in the grand scheme of things because who's whose reputation has really been damaged the most like this here liver king obviously right but his, 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 his reputation has been damaged most i guess from fucking from the people he hangs around with because no one's going to want to touch him like a 10 foot barge wall because if you endorse him you're a liar you, you know unless you're brendan Schulp, you don't want to be associated with, with a lone li liar and a con man that's why rogan has run away from him completely right that's why he's run away from him completely rogan's run away from him because he doesn't want to be associated with a liar and a cheat so ironically he took advantage of the vulnerable the naive the gullible but then he ended up he ended up costing him more reputational wise with the people who he wanted to suck up to and fucking lick their shoes and get next to them but now they want, want to be associated with him because even though it's good for views it's going to make you look bad especially if you're in the fitness space and you try and endorse or platform anything he says you're not going to want to you know what i mean you're not going to want to get next to him but if you care about the views and your podcast empire is failing and you're sitting next to somebody who's gone through what he's gone through and you're brendan and you do what he does then clearly he's going to be a good person to kind of ne get next to but i think that is a very telling sign of who they are as people and why maybe that whole entire scene and industry needs to get lit on fire on a bonfire somewhere it's absolutely full of the most bottom barrel horrible bad intention people that have ever existed in the shape of in in the face of the earth and they go out of their way to exploit people and you know what's telling also it doesn't work because this shitty whiskey here that he keeps fucking trying to shill doesn't sell that's why he has to put it on the table like that when's the last time you've seen fucking conor mcgregor telling you about coupon deals that you can get to get on proper tour when's the last time you've heard him try to shill that bottle of whiskey that from what i've heard tastes like absolute piss but he's selling it by the bucket load he doesn't do anything. It just sells itself naturally to the point where now him and Artem Lobov are having a very contentious battle over the fucking rights to it and the money's owed and whatnot. But clearly this isn't doing well. So clearly the gullible and the naive are smart enough to suss out that $90 mixed blend whiskey from Japan isn't worth the money. So you don't sell much. Simple. And then you have to fake that you sell out clothes and shit. It doesn't work that way. We, we, might be, we might be gullible and naive, but some of us can still sniff out a scam. So in the end, who won really? Oh, yeah. And you're a dumbass. Yeah. I, but but, I'm, well, but having said all that, if you're going to live that, if you're going to play that game. How insulting is this for Brendan to call you dumb? How insulting? Okay, cool. I'm dumb. No worries. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. No worries. Okay, cool. I'm the dumb one. Yep. I'm the dumb one. Liver King is a great guy. Never met him. He was the Liver King. It's Brian Johnson. Just know that that the house of cards clear. is going to come down. Hey, be, and you're going to get hey, all be, the let shit. Me, let me ask you a question. I'm, yeah. I'm not trying to be the argument of yeah, any yeah. facet here. Yeah. If you were starting to, let's say, and let's say you are, don't be like I never started supplement. Yeah. Let's say you got into supplement. Flip flop. And, company. And, and, Keep going. Yeah, and you wanted and you wanted uh, like be the liver king. Yeah. Would you have came like how should he have dealt with it? Should he have came out and said, "Hey guys, I'm on this, this, and this, but I live this way, which also helps." Yeah, it's a tough place to be. What would you do? And then my other no it's easy it's easy hey, hey, hey. it's easy guys it's simple it's simple it's very very simple it's very very simple you know what you do even if you just imply that eating an all meat diet could potentially get you to look like how the liver king looks 
but you don't categorically say out of your lips, hey, do my diet, live by my tenants, and you also shall have very plump uh, titties, that's okay. But the moment the first person asks you categorically, do you take PEDs? You should say yes. That's what you should do as a plan. If you came, if you if your if your master plan was as we saw from the fucking um, Derek's video on the more place more dates, this was a plan that he had in place for a long time. He was trying to you know help his family or whatnot, and he wanted to make a way to kind of make some money online, and he devised this whole plan to be the Liver King, blah blah blah. If that was your plan, the plan should always have been eventually down the line if this goes well one person's gonna ask me the first person to ask me if i take drugs i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say yes and then off the back of that first person to tell me i'll then produce all my stuff and put it on my blog and break down everything that i take but also add on the bottom of it that it's also important that you should take all these things that i'm selling you should live these tenants you should eat this way that's the only way to maintain and keep this physique up you don't get this far looking the way i'm doing just from injecting stuff in your ass that's what you should do but what you shouldn't do is lie that you get the results by eating the all meat diet and all that stuff that you said but that's what you should do just start the way be a bit vague about it don't imply anything but the first time someone asks you just admit it straight away that's all you do and it's done it's finished there's nothing to uncover now because you already told the truth already but the concept of telling the truth and being somewhat honest to your audience is so foreign to these guys because they're always looking for the cash grab. It's always a fucking cash grab, isn't it? You fake selling out shows. You fake demand for fucking bookings. You fake that you're going to get all these deals with Netflix and you just upload your stuff on YouTube. It's just all this stuff. It's just constant, constant lies and spin and smoke and mirrors. That's their life. It's a constant fucking thing. You're balancing all these plates, all these lies at the same time. For me... Even though I'm, I have places in my life that I lie about certain things, I'm sure, for the most part, I've always found it very interesting or very peculiar, or very, um, um, I've always been curious to kind of look at from the outside in when people, when you find out those guys who, um, what do you call it, who have like second families, you know those dudes, right? They're cheating their partner or their wife and they have a family in another state, in another country and they are, you know, very present in that family's life to the point where that other family had no idea they had another family, you know, that kind of nonsense. It's always really impressed me how somebody like that can lie to that level where they've been able to raise two sets of kids in two different places and have two partners in two different places and just keep going living life like like it's normal oh hey babe i'm going to a meeting and you're visiting your other family oh my dad's sick then you're going to the other family you're doing that constantly and keeping that lie up to everybody that's always intriguing because i feel like being able to tell one lie hey i guess you know why are you late to work today okay i'm let i'm let, what can i choose here i can lie or i can say the truth if i say that if i say the truth it might make me look bad so i'm gonna lie oh sorry the trains were slow the trains were slow today you know what i mean the, there was a delay on my bus you know those kind of lies cool but continual lies like i don't know you fake that you have a girlfriend you fake that you worked at a certain place or you fake that you've got a job number one um you fake about the, some school you went to you fake about the place that ho holiday you go to you fake about the stuff that you own it's just so many lies you have to constantly keep going why live that kind of life especially if you're a living king and you've got this amazing privilege to earn money by being a social media influencer it's meant to make your life easier and more chill why would you add stress onto it um without any reason by just having this Im massive cloud of a lie hanging over your head where you've you basically told people from day dot that you don't take any gear that you want that you prioritize eliminate and dominate like go and fuck off you are a piece of shit that's all it is you are a piece of shit come on bro come on Another question for you is name one single example in the fitness space yeah. that launched a supplement company that told us exactly false equivalency just because there's not honest companies out there doesn't mean you should also do the dishonest thing why don't you start your own company and aim to tell the truth why can't that be one of your selling points hey i'm going to start a supplement company and i'm going to be completely honest about the things that it purports to do and its benefits you might not make as much money as everybody else but fuck it let's try that experiment for once and let's see how far that goes it's not that difficult to do, isn't it? But in a land full of charlatans, you know, charlatans are going to charlatan, isn't it? What cycle they're taking yeah. from day one. I think what you are is sympathetic. And I, no. I, I don't like when people pile on. What, I think what, what is, okay. Oh, you don't like when people expose liars and also jump on it and also 
point. Oh my God, this. Anyway, it's stop. I think he made a mistake. Can you take accountability <laughs> for it? Yeah. It does not take away from his overall message, and he's actually a good person. Yeah. The overall message, I'm on. <laughs> he may have cheated on his wife 17 times. He may have left his daughter high and dry after he said he's going to pick her up at baseball practice. And he may or may not have embezzled some funds from the company. But he's a great guy. His intentions were good. He's trying to take his kids to Disneyland. It's at that time I was working at this company um, ages ago. Um, and this guy that I was working, no, this guy that was maybe a manager of some other team, really cool guy. I kind of enjoyed his company. He was really kind of good chat at lunch. You know, when you meet one person in your workplace who's kind of normal and isn't weird and isn't always kind of working kind of attitude and can be a normal human being. And then one day I turned up and he wasn't at work anymore. I was like, oh, well, shit, what happened? And I heard, oh, he got fired. And then I found out, you know why he got fired? The story goes that he was using the company card he was given to take his daughters to McDonald's every day after school. But the, the really tragic part about it was because he was divorced or separated, I guess, from his partner. And when he took them out from school after school, it was the only time they got to hang out was in the drive through or was in the drive home. And obviously to extend the drive through and have a bit of fun, he'd in secret take his kids to McDonald's and tell them to tell their mums and they could spend more time like chilling and hanging out together on the way home. But I remember that being a thing. And it's like, don't get me wrong, still a sweetheart of a thing to do, whatever, get, but you still stop from the company and he's still going to get fired. It is what it is. It might be a sweet thing. You might have good intentions, but using a company card to buy your kids happy meals, it's not on. And I guess a happy meal every day, a happy meal five days a week for two kids probably adds up in it. So he probably racked up a pretty decent bill and I'm sure he wasn't buying a happy meal for himself. He was probably getting the fucking specials also. So, you know what I mean? It's like the worst defense ever. He's a great guy. Yeah, but he still embezzled money from the company. <laughs> I'm bored with i can ride with yeah of course he's on steroids you fucking idiots yeah yeah How, don't you find that funny he's 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 using swear words or offensive words at the at the fans at the audience but he's not saying the same thing to liver king so we're the fucking idiots for daring to pile on and whatever yeah like but the liver king isn't the fucking idiot for lying and misleading his audience and not clearing up thing yeah so we're the fucking idiot. Okay, we get the swear words. So I get the fucking, I get the idiot, and he gets the great guy never met him. Makes sense. It's it's it continues to be a complicated subject because I think anyone, anyone selling a ma <laughs> I imagine Bill Clinton saying that. It's a complicated subject whether or not Monica Lewinsky sucked my dick in the Oval Office. It's a complicated question. A complicated subject. Because like like fucking Jordan Peterson. Because what does it mean really to get your ducks in an oval office? What is the concept of a dick? You look at the etymology of dicks, and dicks go round and round and round they go. Makeup line, Kardashians. Anyone selling any kind of longevity, uh, beauty, almost anyone, with the exception of like uh, like Lane Norton, who's a scientist, and Andy Galvin, certain guys, but they're not living on yachts. But the people that have done very well, made a lot of money, almost all are in one way or another doing things. There's a catch. Uh, why the steroids? There's certainly, how do you feel about plastic surgery? How do you feel about butt implants? How do you feel about Botox? How do you feel about all these things? When you look at the Kardashians and a girl who's 11 says, I want to look like that someday. That's where it gets dicey. Uh, I'm, I'm going to buy Kylie's makeup. That's where line. it gets dicey. Well, well, Kylie's makeup line ain't going to make. Also, oh, now he understands it. When it comes to Kardashians and cosmetic surgery, he gets it because, yeah, he may or may not have plumped up his lips and he may or may not have a partner who's also, you know, synthetically modified. Now he understands the analogies. Fucking donut. You look like Kylie. No. A very expensive plastic surgeon. She went through a lot of pain. Like yeah. The, you understand? And I used to, and so I used to, to defend. Everybody I know. I used to defend the Kardashians, <laughs> right, with that stuff. I'm like, oh, they're gorgeous. Of course you used to defend them, you because you're a fucking mongoloid. That's why. Or just they look better. And then I forget who it was. It might have been. Uh, your, um, wife? Your, uh, your wife? Your wife? Stefano. Yeah. Uh, Stefano, uh, Chrissy D was like. Yeah, but would you feel the same way if you had a daughter who was 13 and was like, Dad, I got I'm buying daughter. Kylie Jenner's makeup because apparently it's going to make me look like her. The Kylie Jenner, the same girl who said the only work that she got done was her lips. The only thing that she said categorically out of her lips, ironically enough, is her lips. 
she got her lips done. That's the only thing. That's the kind of standard thing that girls do. Now, I only got my boobs done because I hurt in my back. I only got my lips done because I fell off a BMX when I was a kid. Yeah, right. But she got her whole body fucking real. It's, again, it's not you, not anyone's business. Do whatever you want to do. But don't then sell me a fucking diet lollipop when you've been fucking under the knife in your fucking basement for the past 17 months. Like, come on, do me a favor. You would go, no, no, that you don't want that to be a North Star. Yeah. But also, if my son... Tiger, who's really into fitness, and went, hey, Dad, I'm going to start the Liver Kings. <laughs> Brian, what an excellent point there in the chat. Remember the CBD company Bapa started and claimed it stopped his baby seizures? That his that was his marketing angle um, to hook CBD crap. Yes, you remember that CBD grift? I think one of his kids have, was having seizures, and I guess anecdotally, maybe, the CBD may have helped to ease some of those seizures. Don't get me wrong, but he was trying to shill and grift that fucking CBD like it was a cure for seizures. But I guess the the, the breaking point for people came when what's his face? Oh, what happened? I remember when you think you well, that's when um, you'd be surprised came out right, and they put some promo out there where the the owner of the CBD company was sent out an email blast saying, "Oh, leave some reviews on IMBD to make sure it can counteract all the trolls that are making him look bad and stuff or whatnot." But if I'm not mistaken, the actual reason why they ended their partnership, if I'm not mistaken, maybe this is some deep law. Didn't Brendan ask for more like equity in a company or something? Do people remember that? I think that. I think that. He may have asked for more money or more equity or something and then they split ways and now you haven't heard them mention CBD ever again. So allegedly this one thing that cured his son from seizures, which I imagine is really a troubling thing to see your kid go through, don't get me wrong, but there's one thing that's meant to be the fucking you know, antidote for it, he suddenly doesn't mention it anymore. All because they probably didn't let him cut, you know, didn't give him a cut of the company or, or cut him a bigger check. Protocol, I'm going to live this lifestyle, I'd say, oh, cool, buddy. You can sleep on bamboo and eat liver and stuff yeah. like that. I'm, I'll support all that. But you know he's also. I would tell him straight up. You know he's on a, like artificial PEDs, dude. Muscle you know, and you know fitness, he's on the stuff. Muscle and Fitness Empire, Muscle and Fitness Magazine. It's built off this. I mean, it was all it was all nutrition and exercise, and all of it was great. And they all get exposed if they try to claim that their thing is being all natural. Every single one of them. There's not one that doesn't. If they deny it, they deny it. But at least we know. And most of them don't. Because that, that's the thing I've said before as well. I don't understand. I wish somebody who was like in that scene proper. Because I used to be in a bodybuilding forum back in the day. Like I said, I, I was part of the whole CrossFit wave when it first started. I was reading CrossFit.com all the time. I was in the forums. But I'd love to know if people in that community, if, when I end up clipping this up, you could definitely please leave me a comment and let me know. What is it about bodybuilders and that weightlifting community that lie about being natural when it's quite clear they're not? Because we all know what natural looks like in the gym. We know what person, what person going seven days a week in the gym, doing five di five days or two a days, and only eating white rice and chicken. We know that we know what that looks like. We've seen enough examples of people who commit to a really regimented, crazy work fucking workout regime. They look a certain way. But we also know to get that extra 10, 15, 20, 50, 100% bump in your physiology, you need to take gear. It's just a common thing. And maybe to recover, whatever it may be. So why lie? Because the people that are in it, the people that are balls deep in that community, they know you're not natural. And most fans can maybe suspend belief just to kind of buy it for novelty. But deep down, they know also you're not natural. So who are you really lying to? I don't understand it. The whole natty thing. I don't get it. If you, if you, if it looks, if you look too good to be true, everyone knows it. And, in, and the fans that don't know it after you've been rumbled or if it doesn't work for them, they just jump off it anyway. So it's a kind of a weird grift because it's kind of those kind of, it's sort of those kind of, um, it's like a temporary grift because the moment you get exposed, you can't really grift anymore off the back of it. You can't pretend to be natty anymore when you've been exposed because you've been exposed. You have to kind of just leave the natty thing alone. So the selling angle kind of disappears. So I wonder what the benefit is. Maybe before it was no, be there was a benefit because of no social media and YouTube channels and all this sort of stuff and, you know, amateur fucking journalists that are kind of in their bedroom dissecting things. But nowadays, why would you lie? Like, I don't get it. Like, you know, it's like, it, it, it reminds me a little bit of the comedian lie. Oh, I'm selling out. I sold tickets. Like, what's the point of lying about selling out? Why would you lie? Because the people in the business know what level you're at. And the people that go to the shows were there in the crowd. Look, it's not sold out. There's plenty of seats around here. So who are you really lying to? People in the industry already know? Your fans who are there? Like, I, I don't get it. Or the fans that weren't there, like, it's strange. But anyway.
but the models, the people we were trying to get to, unattainable, were, were unattainable without a pharmacy of drugs, which I didn't know back then. Dude, I didn't know until I was like 24. They, uh, I, yeah. I, I got a flat top when I was 12 and had my mom buy me whole milk because I thought I'd look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. My mom was like, that's how you do it. Say milk I had again. my mom buy me whole milk because I thought I'd look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. My mom was like, say milk again. I was 12 and had my mom buy me whole milk. They, uh, I, uh, yeah. I, I got a flat top when I was 12 and had my mom buy me whole milk because I thought they, uh, I, uh, yeah. I, I got a flat top when I was flat. Top, Jesus Christ. Twelve and had my mom buy me whole milk because I thought I'd look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. My mom's like, "That's how you do it." I'm like, "I yeah. just lift and drink milk and drink a have milk. a flat top." And yeah. I... How can you pronounce milk, milk? That's beyond a speech impediment. That's just laziness, isn't it? Really, that enunciation is wild. Start talking like him. She's like, "Yeah, that'll get you there." Yeah, dumbass. Even you said when you tried to put on real weight, and you're a huge guy who puts on muscle easily. You said it took you like a year and a oh half. Oh my God. Yeah, it, it, it's hard work, man. If you do it the right, if you do it naturally. And I, I think maybe that's why I have a soft spot for the Liver King because <laughs> I also used to take gear and it didn't work. <laughs> I've been gym since I was, I don't know, fourth grade. And I know how hard that dude's work, even with or without steroids, to get yeah. to that and that discipline it takes. Yeah. It that doesn't make any sense. If you were in gym since fourth grade and somebody is profiteering off of pretending to be natural like you are, you should be more offended. No? How does that make any sense? I'm defending him because I went to gym in fourth grade. Like, huh? How does that make any sense? <laughs> Please tell me. So how does that make any sense? <laughs> it's tough. Well, it's man. a bodybuilder thing. Guys it's were like, fucking tough. Guys think, well, I could, you, well, it was like Equus. What was that, that documentary? He took, he tried, took all the, everything with a Russian scientist. He yeah. was a biker. And yeah, you know the fourth grade thing as well. He's like those kids. Um, I've got a PlayStation. I've got Xbox. I've got everything. Um, my dad can beat up your dad. I started lifting in fourth grade. No, I started in third. I started in second. I started lifting in my mom's belly, actually. Like, what? Like, all right, cool. One up, one up, McGee. Relax. Fourth grade, yeah? Cool. You were doing burpees in fourth grade. Still couldn't come close. <laughs> So a lot of it yeah. is, you know, how good of an athlete are you? You're not going to... And know. most people you walk on the street past, you have no idea they're on steroids. Because I've met so many guys where you're like, they tell me what they're on. And I'm like, oh, it's just, you must have been so much skinny or you're not using it right. Well, oh, I, I, I go, so tell me what you're on good. so I know what not to take. Yeah, you well, look terrible. <laughs> sometimes they look fantastic. Like you, Brendan. Look, he's got a little tail. Look at the little tail. Look at the tail. The tail when, he's, when, when it's an awkward lying you moment. Look, that last side thing, he's doing it again. Cause it's because he's talking about himself, because he's really the the worst advocate ever for steroids. Remember when his face ballooned up and he started looking super super swollen, like a like a what's it Fear Vaughn say, like a bunch of bees. Because he's the worst advocate for steroids, to be honest. And probably BJ was the best, because if you see pictures of him prior to taking roids, he looks completely different, as in build wise. Still got still got small feet though. Size eight feet is mad you're like you look so hey, but B, good th this is my this is my again i'm not defending i'm just saying this yeah. is the society we live in name something that you see that's not artificial so if you see a girl on instagram right they doctor yeah. the pictures the filters yes, these days yes, 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 yes. for women for so men all, all, this, all this stuff all of this it's it, all sm it, a lot of it's smoking you're bringing mirrors. up a great point because I, I think there's something wrong with our culture maybe right or here let me play devil blame the brokies blame us naive chumps in the crowd for believing your lies blame society at large but how dare you turn the mirror back at us how dare you ask us to be accountable for our own actions and for the things that we say no 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 no. it's your fault i fell into the trap of fucking that little 19 year old hottie in a shortage bar somewhere because she told me her favorite artist was pharrell no 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 it's your fault that I hooked up with that Brazilian mamacita on a backpacking world tour and now I have another family in fucking um, Port Alegre that I don't know nothing about and the kid is now four years old and I'm keeping that a secret. No, no, no. It's your fault that I'm a millionaire off of selling you this dog shit PDF and telling you to eat fucking donkey balls in order for you to have really ripped abs like me. It's your fault. You made me this person. Society. The culture. Fuck off, you absolute cretins. Devil's advocate. One, it's probably something wrong with our culture. And Two, we back. cultures have never been different. Cultures have never been different. We've always tried to be more beautiful. Women wore corsets to make their waist tiny and they would faint.
by the way, this is a comedy podcast. These are two professional comics who allegedly tour the world, who sell out loads of places and who are highly regarded in their profession. This is a comedy podcast and we are 40 minutes in to a balls deep analysis and breakdown of the liver king lying about not taking steroids. Primitive Girl, cultures, buying their, feet. buying their feet, primitive cultures, or not, I shouldn't say primitive cultures. Why do you take many, weights many off cultures their yeah. was... <laughs> Oh, I can't say primitive, but I can sit here and pontificate about a lie. But dare I say primitive? <laughs> primitive. You're my primitive. You're my primitive now. <laughs> I never hung around with the primitive. I, I don't know. I hung around with him maybe twice, once. I don't know any primitives. <laughs> These guys are so full of shit. This nigga's nearly 60 years old with with two families and he's here fucking worried about fucking Liver King, man. God almighty, man. Shit. The scarification rituals. Sure. Uh, all of those things were meant to... The, the human beings have gone into all kinds of decoration look better. and enhancement and mm -hmm. body enhancement. We've also altered our states. And now with technology, gene editing... We are in the new frontier where you're going to be able new to level. look like pretty much anything you Anyone want. Anyone you want, yeah. And so this might just be a, a, the movement toward a form of transhumanism. People want to live forever. This is an expression of people wanting to be bigger, stronger, faster, and ultimately And live, live longer forever. and healthier That's and not it. be in the hospital. That's it. And but, you're never going to change but, it. And but, we're going to get closer to it with technology. I agree. And then... The and then people come along and take advantage of it, right? You want to be healthier. You want to live longer. You want to see your kids graduate, get married, have kids. Yeah. And then some fucking charlatan comes along and tells you if you take these fucking pills that you can have six pack abs like him. Or if you take this CBD, your kids are going to be shaking at night like he's an exorcist. Okay, then. And the standard <laughs> of beauty is really, I think the bars can get lower because if everybody can attain it from you know paying a doctor and we yeah. cannot or taking a pill whatever we yes. get to then no, but, but, fuck that. I'm not listening. Smart, it, smart talk brenda i'm not listening to not that's going to be the the thing and gas power is going to be gone but even in the message of that and this isn't political this these are facts yeah. even the message of teslas and electric cars and we think it's the right thing to do but underneath all of it it's actually not it's smoke and mirrors because yeah. if you look into it in the lithium batteries and the, <laughs> how fast the cars go and how much they weigh no fucking way no fucking way now is what now it's elon musk fault that he no way no way no way no fucking way no way so it's our fault for believing the lies and it's now elon musk fault because he he dares to try and make an alternative um you know automobiles and fucking gas guzzling cars no one's I, why even talk about this? It's nonsense. Why am I even trying to reply to this and make sense of this? Let's just play. What am I doing? Hey, and now death is going to be up on the roads. It's actually not. Nothing's good free, thing. right? No, everything is smoke and mirrors. Yeah. It's everything. Like when you look. When <laughs> Nothing's free. Everything's, he, didn't, he didn't know what word to say. So like, smoke and mirrors. <laughs> what do you want? You want the smoke? You want the mirrors? You want the. <laughs> you want the 600 pages? You want to walk me to my truck? I was just going to say, what do you want? 600 pages? Walk me to my truck. <laughs> you want that carne asada? <laughs> oh, you want that Mexican cookie? <laughs> Tapas cookie? <laughs> Pico de gallo. Oh, what a fucking redact, honestly. When you get down to the nitty gritty of really most things that are making so much money, whatever what, whatever business point. you're into shoes you're into it's, you, it's you know the nikes i'm into yeah they cost in slave labor they cost four dollars to make it's everything it's, the great, it's mirrors. the great contradiction of being a human being yeah you try to be good and you're probably being bad and it's impossible they're not even saying the same things they're not even saying the same things <laughs> they're having two separate podcasts at the same time <laughs> He's like, yep. What are you saying yep about? He's not even agreeing with what you're saying. He's talking about a completely different point. Or you're making a completely different point. You're using different hand motions to say different things. Smoking mirrors doesn't mean this. <laughs> he's so fucking redacted. But honestly, he's, a, he's an American dream. I aspire to be Brendan Shaw, but a multi-millionaire despite you being legitimately double-digit IQ. That is the goal. Because I think people and underestimate this idea that you should be like Elon is... That's a joke. Be like fucking, you know, um, Steve Jobs, 
whatever it may be. Now, that's a joke. Not many of us can attain that level. Mark Zuckerberg, all these guys, nah. The actual goal in life, the goal in life should be like, do you remember that thing? I don't know if you guys remember, but early in the pandemic, there were these memes and these posts going, I don't know if they were trolls or not, but people early in the pandemic were able, because everybody was making the shift to working from home, some guys were able to cheat the system and scam it for a little bit and were able to get free full-time jobs all remotely doing like customer service stuff and I don't know, whatever stuff you can do online. And they had these pictures of themselves working at home with like these free laptops. And it was like the, it was like a bit of a meme, but I think it was legit. So they got in there really quickly and, and kind of, you know, cheated the system. That should be what you should be aiming to do in life. Getting the maximum amount, getting the maximum out of life while cheating the system. So you have your free laptops open and you're asleep, right? But you're like supposedly in meetings. You're allegedly doing work, but you're working maybe one hour a day and you're getting paid for eight hours of those days. That's what you should, that's the American dream. Not fucking being super smart and really educated and fucking, you know, having really great business acumen and all this sort of stuff and selling loads of products. No, no, no. That's for the losers. Just be like Brendan. Try and aspire to be double digit IQ, but still be a multimillionaire. That is what you should be doing. Allegedly, because that's what that's what most of us are. We are most of us are double digit IQ. <laughs> and we're just trying to make the best out of it because he's done it to the nth degree, man. He's doing smoke and mirrors. <laughs> mm. Not to miss, right? And so you're you're bringing up such a great point. I think. At the end of the day, though, the lesson here for Brian Johnson, Liver King, for anybody else, live your truth. For, for, a, for a huge, for a huge movie star who might be <clears throat> pretending to be straight and is actually gay, whatever it might be, <laughs> you're going to get found out. It, it, the problem with lying, in regardless, <laughs> oh, he said a little, he said a little twitch because he got found out too, isn't it? Right. The problem with lying. The problem with presenting yourself out to be a good human being, because that's a legend. That's what I think what Chris got fucked up about. Because Chris was so squeaky clean. I felt like he was quite a PG person. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, I think that. I'd say that. I'd say that. I think, I think Chris was PG. Chris was very clean, kind of, to an extent. Then when those things came out about him, forget the whole near underage thing, it was more so the the kind of the it kind of made him an adult straight away it's sort of like it, it, you know what i mean it, it kind of oh shit he's horny oh shit his dick gets hard you know what i mean like really hard <laughs> he really he really likes a fuck like it, that kind of realization came in like oh shit it kind of took people aback but i think if he presented himself and just was honest and like yeah i like to fuck chicks you know what i mean i like to put it down i'm that guy cool but because he was presenting himself as one way and then it came out and he was this other guy it kind of threw people off a bit so Lying, I feel like, is detrimental, especially if you're a big figure, because if your image online isn't congruent to how you are as a person behind the scenes, you can't keep up those two personas at the same time, unless you're obviously a sociopath. But if you're not, then you're going to find it hard to kind of manage those things at the same time. And, you know, Brian kind of knows that to be the truth, innit? He knows that to be the truth. God damn. Where it is in your life, just know you're not going to get away with it ultimately. You can't. You just can't. Well, um, and I have. For LeBron? LeBron, if you want to, and I'm saying he is, but if, or Tom Brady, if it means I get to watch you play for 10 more years and you're taking HGA. Oh, shut up. We're not talking about that. Yeah, I, I just think at the end of the day, it's, it's a fucking really, it's kind of new for us, but it's not. And it's a really tough thing. And when you're in the limelight and you've made, you've built your fortune off of a certain look and a certain persona that requires all the work and little help on the, on the side and letting people know that, that help on on the side it's going to tear it all down it becomes very difficult yeah so, he's in a tough spot but nowadays nowadays all of us know most of us you know with all the guy like derek from plates more weights or whatever uh what, what is plates, it plates more dates <clears throat> plates more dates sorry more plates more dates more plates more dates we just you and i both I know, I'm, I'm, I'm like plates on plates yeah, yeah. With dates. Plates why plates did he and hop, did, why did he go bad on liberty? it's that's a great question <laughs> I, i'm with b on this and i love derek you know i love you and plates more dates <clears throat> I, I, again maybe it's because i get so much shit all the time but when i saw that i went what are you doing Derek? what are you doing man much shit all the time but when i saw that i went what are you doing okay so i want to go back to blow my nose um am i the only one that didn't think Derek went bad on him if anything that was the most methodical very kind of as it is sort of video expose he kind of presented the evidence 
showcase what the Liz- Lizard King, the Liver King said in his own words and just kept it going. There was very little of his um, own opinion and judgment of flipping uh, Liver King in there. Maybe a little bit sprinkled in there, but it wasn't a hit piece, it felt like. It felt like, you know, this is what he said. This is what the facts say. This is what he said. I mean, he was pretty... It was like, make your own conclusion. This is the evidence I'm laying out to be. Maybe the clip, the title and the thumbnail was a little bit, I'm judging him. But if you actually watch the content of the whole show or the whole, sorry, um, episode or video, it was very much so, let me lay the evidence and you make your own conclusion. So I find it funny how he jumped on that. Oh yeah, he's a victim just like me. They're controlling and he's, uh, I'm just trying to prevent it. That's why I'm protecting the lizard king, the lizard king, liver king, whatever it may be. It's a very strange thing he's saying about it. But also he might be the only person on social media who I've seen take this angle of like maybe more place more dates went too hard on him like excuse me no one Derek. what are you doing man you 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 derek's a very smart smart and when it comes to like breaking down steroids and natty or not he is the best human being on earth to do that as far as entertainment and known history he's so good yeah. I- so why wouldn't he do it for the most high profile person out there at the moment claiming to be natural is this guy absolutely retarded you just said yourself he's the best at exposing all those things. So why wouldn't he do it to the one person who's the biggest star of them all at the moment? And obviously pull the curtain back and show, hey, this is what I've heard. I love this man. He's yeah. phenomenal at his job. The best there is. Rogan had him. Have you- whenever people do these kind of, um, whenever people have these kind of um, disclaimers before you, it's usually they're going to be, it's gonna, they're going to follow up with an insult. Be, always be aware when someone lays it on this thick great guy amazing guy i love him i love him uh, it's usually trying to share about you or they're gonna say something horrible you he's met him? so good yeah oh, we've gone back and forth yeah. texts and uh yeah and uh um dms um so if i ever want to go on steroids not for you we'll get to you he's the guy no 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 just go up the road uh but so uh <laughs> doesn't matter right so uh but when i saw derek do that a part of me because we live again this is another problem in society that we we're talking about with smoke and mirrors but the mentality to tear the first, be the first one to tear somebody down, yeah. it breaks my heart. I'm like it's not the same thing, though. You fucking whatever spanner. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing at all. This is a false equivalency. It's not the same thing. We're not trying to tear him down because he's ascended to a certain height. He's ascended to a certain height, and it's exposed his lies. That's the issue. The bigger he got. Because again, the, the thing I don't have any sympathy for him for, because he clearly wanted to be viral. He clearly wanted to like break the algorithm and he clearly did. And he clearly got a lot of juice from it, you know, no pun intended. He should have had a plan in place for when he was at a level where his lies were going to catch up with him and just say, hey, I fess up now. That's that's what he should have done. If you're actually going to be, but I guess if you're that kind of liar, you're not the most greatest guy in the world, are you, innit? But I think if you're actually going to lie well, you should have always had a break in case, uh, break glass in case of emergency option. There always should be a button, always should be a stage. You're like, okay, cool. There's too many people asking questions. Everyone's kind of circling around me. I'm getting a lot of attention. My followers have gone up a hundred thousand. I'm getting all these calls. Okay, let's confess now. Like, you should know when to do it if you're if you're if you're in it for the long game. But obviously, he was in it for a cash grab. Maybe he was too desperate. I don't really know, and he fucked himself. That's it, basically. It's not that big of a deal. That's why. And obviously in this industry, that Derek guy is meant to be the one person who goes out of his way to expose it because for, I guess from Derek's point of view, it's probably more annoying in the fitness industry when these guys are saying that these supplements are very, very basic, super basic supplements, and they're trying to attribute all these incredible gains to them, which obviously don't exist. That's the thing that probably annoys those kind of guys because it's unnecessary. It's a lie and it's probably the worst type of lie because we all know it's not to be true. Like you only need to go to the gym for a month or maybe a year to realize how much work needs to go into it. And also the extra gear that you need to take in order to get to the next level. So trying to ascribe all these health benefits to fucking fish oils and fucking protein powders and shit and coffee mixers is really scummy to say the least. Beyond scummy. That's basically why he would say that. It makes complete sense. That's his niche. That's his thing. He reveals and exposes that because clearly he knows it happens all the time and he's super upfront about the stuff that he does and he still does pretty well for himself. So why can't these people do the same thing? Like It's not that hard to see. Well, uh, you could have you could have called him, Sean, you'd be like, hey, dude, how do you, before I drop this, like, what do you want to do? Or like, you know, like, or if you want, I'll have you on. Hey, dude, I'm going to expose your lies. So before I expose your lies, do you want to maybe clean up the lies? So then when I expose them, they don't hit as hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. All right. Um, we can talk about this. 
So you wanted Kalila to speak to him before she exposed the fact that he slid into her DMs. You wanted Adi Liederman to speak to him before she said the joke about the truck walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted Bobby Lee to admit, hey, yeah, I'm the I'm the mod, I'm the admin behind the Fire and the Kids subreddit. I apologize for starting every single thread about you on there underneath different pseudonyms and spending, you know, ten hours of my day on that forum crafting a solution to end your career. I'm really sorry. I think there's a better way to do it because we're so quick to it's society in general, because they haven't risked what other people have risked to get to a certain point, whatever it is. Yeah. They want to tear Fuck you. Fuck you. We haven't risked what they're willing to risk or what they've risked to get to what? Whatever level. This is the top. Okay. This is your top. Fair enough. You're at the top. Congratulations. We haven't risked anything. That's why we want to tear people down. This negative reaction, this visceral, almost instinctive, guttural, DNA, hardwired reaction we have to, to liars and cheats and charlatans and scumbags doesn't come from any kind of teaching doesn't come from any kind of upbringing doesn't come from any kind of levels of sense of principles and morality or ethics or anything it doesn't come from that it comes from the fact that we can't do what you do that's what it is so every time someone gets exposed it's because they can't do what you do right what a fucking piece of god almighty that is horrendous to say what honestly if i'm if i'm if i'm liver king i don't want you defending me i swear to god you're making it worse you haven't ascended to the place that i've ascended to that's why you're doing this okay okay i'm down man because that makes them feel better i don't know i just I don't, don't I subscribe to it. it i don't know how i feel but now it. now to on to play devil's advocate come on brian have some backbone brian you fucking is, is that is that rubber oh, do you remember that cartoon do you guys remember that cartoon that rubber chicken do you guys remember that oh am i going crazy that's brian keller let me see if i can get up on the, on the screen Just, hold on let me search because my search history is a bit mad and i don't want you seeing all my fucking um stepsister porn stuff that i look up sometimes <laughs> let's see this R rubber spineless chicken do you remember this cartoon i forgot what, what it was in was it in like dexter or something there was like a there was like a chicken that was like evil or something i forgot where it was that's what it reminds me of what was that cartoon it was like a cartoon and the chicken was like evil and shit help me out do you guys remember oh let's get up on here oh this computer's being so slow bear with me one sec yeah big up steve jordan new subscriber jump on the wave man jump on the wave we're civilians we're the average civilians we don't get comedy we don't understand it we haven't ascended to the heights that they have ascended to it's not nice we don't know what they're doing we don't we don't drive teslas and shit what cartoon was it where it was like an evil chicken was it what was it was it this oh that's the one that's the one right that's him that's the one this is the one this wherever that was from what was it from i used to watch this um is it called Karen Chicken? Is that the one? Fuck, you know, this is so old. But th this is essentially Brian Callan. That's Brian Callan. This. This is Brian Callan. It even looks like him a little bit, isn't it, right? It's got that super old face. He wasn't even... The, the, this is the one. Do you guys remember this? This just boneless chicken? That's him. <laughs> Come on, man. Jesus Christ. it up with Derek on plates more dates is it his job because he does a natty or it not is his job so is it kind of his job kind of but if you get an email look i'd say this is there a, but also because it didn't come from an actual doctor it came from his bodybuilding coach yeah isn't there a hippo loss here is, is somebody getting sued here i don't know because it is what are we doing here is somebody getting sued here i sued a fucking minor small at that time youtuber for daring to share a clip of me allegedly supposedly maybe maybe not cheating on my wife and i went to sue him and take him to court which in fact turned that very small youtube channel which you terminate into a far bigger problem than what it needed to be if you just ignored it right that's what you did to uniques uniques was tiny at that time or not tiny but you know in the grand scheme of things what uniques and what i'm doing or what i'm talking about doesn't matter 
it, we do not matter in the grand scheme of things then you try and sue that person and take them down and then guess what happens guess what happens mate guess what fucking happens guess what happens man guess what happens exactly fucking hell man <laughs> yeah. is there any hippo laws here what are we doing here is there any lipo laws here isn't it if it's i don't blame derek because derek that's his show that's his job that you if you're if you're anybody who's doing if you're in a situation like brian johnson or liver king yeah don't call him brian johnson i know i'm sorry if you're in you a gotta situation, be able to if you're like uh, yeah if you're a, a guy like, also on pds <laughs> yes yeah. if you're a guy like liver king you um have to know that the reality of the internet is that it's a truth seeker it's a truth seeker no it's it, no it's I, Oh, look, look, look. I wouldn't call it a truth seeker. I, oh, look, 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 look. Truth seeker. It's a truth seeker. The re Hold on. You gotta build our sets. Up. I love this bit. This is my favorite bit of it. I saw, I saw this clip on the Friday Kids subreddit. I love this bit. This is his natural reaction to being confronted with the harsh reality of the internet. Because in Brendan's eyes, the internet is only a place to market the stuff you're doing. And it's also home to the Cheeto fingered covered trolls who live in their mom's basement, right? All of us in here, we live in our mom's basement. We don't know what we're doing. We're not successful. We don't fuck chicks. We don't drive cars and shit and work out and all that stuff, right? And have fancy clothes. We're just fucking, you know, we might as well be donuts. We might as well be homeless. That's what we do. We might as well be homeless. Homeless cats. So that's what we are. And in his head, that's what exists in there. It's a place to promote your stuff and it's home of trolls only. So in his head, he can't accept the reality that part of the reason why most people get hated, there's some that do get hated unfairly, but for the majority of people who get hated, it's always justifiable. There's always a reason behind it. And it's always valid to some extent, for the most part. Now, the people who master the internet very well, like I said prior before, someone like a Bradley Martin, he understands the meme. Like, look at his gym, Zoo Culture. They do skits and stuff that are really cringy on their Instagram page and TikTok accounts because they've embraced the meme. They know everybody looks at them like a joke. They know it's home of just these prancy, self-conscious, self-obsessed Instagram people who like to go there and pretend to work out, but they embrace the meme. Simple. That's why he won. Because he embraces the meme. He won because of that. Simple as that. Nothing else. Nothing else. But... It's the truth is that the, the meme got exposed and got flipping out there. He doesn't understand that. He can't understand it in the slightest. He doesn't get it whatsoever. So he viscerally reacts and says, no, it isn't that. It isn't that. It's home of the trolls. It's like, yeah, all right, mate. If you're like, uh, yeah, if you're a, a guy. Like, also on PDs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you're a guy like Liver King, you um, have to know that the reality of the internet is that it's a truth seeker. It's a truth seeker. No, it's it, no. It, I, I wouldn't call it a truth seeker. I would say it, it's a career destroyer. But but but, uh, but it, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Number one, that's dramatic as fuck. His career's not destroyed. He's fine, as long as he admits it and keeps it moving, he'll be fine. Put a shirt on, change your whole tact. You know, big turn himself into Aubrey Marcus and start holding fucking shamans and orgies and shit and go into fucking you know Burning Man. He'll be completely fine do a little bit of a pivot maybe turn into a hunter thing whatever do something right he'll be completely fine but it's not a career destroyer it exposes his lies keep it moving that's it career destroyer <laughs> that's how he views himself isn't it he views the internet as a it's trying to destroy his career if anything the internet is trying to destroy his career maybe the homeless cast maybe or, or a small fraction of them big or a small faction sorry of them because maybe they feel like his success isn't isn't fucking warranted or they feel like he doesn't take his um privileges and he's successful he doesn't you know he doesn't treat with level of respect or maybe they feel like he's rude or they don't like him as a human being there can be plenty of reasons why it's not just a, it's not just people wake up you know with the sole intention of fucking just destroying you for the sake of it it's probably because you did something to piss them off so maybe you should try to you know not do those things to piss people off and maybe you'll be fine maybe you're not they're not happy. the truth though right Bubba? like so so what i'm saying is that even but Hornby, even if you are they're gonna come for you well they're always gonna come for you yeah that's what i told them i yeah. met him here hey, everybody's gonna come for you. i went they're coming but goes, what do you mean i go you're getting too famous <laughs> it's it's not it's not that lebron james uh lying me a minute i i was told the king man this day was gonna come 
I always told him, man, this day specifically on this December day, you know, more placement day will drop a will drop a fucking video. I always told him, shut up. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. But, but having, what laughing. I'm trying to say is that that kind of situation with with you, you, there are very smart people like Derek, who can break this down, and are going to say this is impossible for you to look this. Also, drinking Diet Coke is not a personality. Drinking whiskey is not a personality. Wearing trendy jerseys every single week is not a personality trait. Go and get a personality. Go and develop one, please. Go and get some real friends who aren't stand-up comedians or you don't have to pay. Go and maybe read a book. Go and watch a movie. Do something, please, for the love of God. Please do something outside of all this shit. Please. Or, you know what? Better, 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 you know, better yet than that. Why not turn up every single day when you record with the sole intention of making your co-host die with laughter of making your fans die with laughter when's the last time you've seen a funny bit from this fucking podcast it's meant to be a professional stand-up comedian podcast they spent the best part of 40 plus minutes dissecting and talking about world and social issues and going through all of this nonsense about the liver king to minutia and exhausting detail when they're meant to be professional comics what the fuck is going on here what are we doing here for real this way otherwise okay but then he did get all this information so he can back it up it's very hard for him he's not he doesn't owe anybody anything he just owes his audience the truth let me ask you but he said he did a place more dates he did a daddy or not on rogan see I, lo I love it i love it see look does he even his audience he can't say that he can't even fess up and say do you at least owe your audience a fucking the fucking truth don't you at least own your audience of truth right right don't you at least own owe that to them like maybe if you're a scumbag or you're a liar or something maybe just tell your audience so you're a scumbag or a liar maybe fess up to them behind closed doors on like secret discords and shit maybe but everybody come on and like a ton of people yeah he talked about my uh limp dick when i was on trt my wiener wouldn't work just oh, stopped working really and he was like you're probably taking too much we went back and forth that's how me and him met what were you taking uh testosterone because i got my levels checked I think that was a time when his uh, uh, when his um, private parts got leaked allegedly or didn't get allegedly leaked on a certain subreddit. I think so. I remember this. <laughs> uh, I think that's how also people find out about those DMs if they were real or not. Because I think people matched the tattoos and stuff. I think so. I'm pretty sure something around those kind of lines as well. So he's l conveniently leaving out a lot of the details, but you know, there's no point in repeating that stuff. Don't get people in trouble. Like the do you do any anabar or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. I'm all set on your expertise on this, but no, I'm no, just I saying. No, I, I talked to. What a cunt! I'm yeah, asking being, you. Yeah, no. I'm, but what caused the dick thing? Was it too much testosterone? Yeah, that's what he's saying. Like maybe I, they recommend too much of a high dose, and because sometimes oh. if you take too much, it, yes. it will cause that in some people, and it causes. Uh, your uh, sperm production to go to zero right I've zero that. which is has been an issue for me right uh -huh. so i'll i'll talk to the plates more dates me and him have gone are back you and taking that. testosterone now no okay uh -uh. yeah because no. i but you never were you did it for a little bit you well, just because i was it was so so low and they said they think because of combat sports and since i've been working out and <laughs> yeah that's why like doing so much stuff since i was in fourth grade yeah to go stuff he was he was doing overhead presses and but look at that face as a face of someone that doesn't believe their co-host stuff huh what stuff you're doing bench pressing and overhead presses and lunges right and kettlebell swings and compound workouts and box jumps yeah when you're in fourth grade yeah yeah right, cool, cool, cool 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 yeah true 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 that's the stuff you're doing right N not any not any other stuff now of course not oh dad that all like way to go to have tackle football in fourth grade. What are you doing? But uh, way to go. I loved it. But in fourth grade, for getting hit in the head, just you know, to doing all the stuff. Fucks with your pituitary gland. Well, they said they're just the constant, like the adrenaline, the testosterone, like it just. Yeah. And I'm sure the drinking of whiskey at 9 a.m., the mountains of fucking coffee, the lack of sleep, the hundred thousand plus hordes of literal haters that hate every single inch of you that doesn't contribute to it or nah, nah 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 that doesn't contribute to it or it's all the fucking get hit on the head yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and the, and the stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> just stop working so much my adrenals are fucked too yeah so i got on it you know I, I felt good for a little bit but then once my wiener stopped working 
I'd rather look like fucking Brendan Fraser on a new movie than have not have my wiener work. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. Okay, I didn't know that. Mm. Okay, so but, but my, my my thing, let me ask you this. Yeah. If you're Derek at Plates More Dates, and I know you'd be, yeah. you wouldn't do it. No. You wouldn't do it. No. I know things about certain people me too. that would absolutely me too. ruin their career. This is not to ruin oh my god. I love how I love how this is kind of like a weird quasi intimidation reminder to certain people he's not trying to ruin his career his whole channel is centered around the fitness industry his whole channel is centered around supplements his whole channel is centered around the not you're not question all those kind of things that's his whole premise of his fucking channel so why wouldn't you if you had that information land in your lap talk and quote unquote expose one of the populous people out there who legitimately is at the top of his game and telling everybody that he's natural when he clearly isn't. Why wouldn't you present that evidence to the world? Why wouldn't you? He's not trying to destroy his career because the truth of it is his career won't get destroyed. The same way how Brian Callen's career didn't get destroyed, even though he has rapes next to his name. The same way your career didn't get destroyed, despite you know you being terrible at fucking stand up and all the other nonsense that you went through with Kalira and Annie. Nothing destroys people's careers anymore because you have your own fans. We all know this. It's just to let people know, hey, this is what this douchebag did. This is what that douchebag did. Do what you want to do. Then people make up their own decision. People want to still follow you. They follow you. It is what it is. No one cares about that shit. But it's not to destroy anyone's career. The way he's fucking. Anyway, it's, it's very weird. We all do. Destroy yeah. him. Yeah, we all do. I would never. That that's not my job. That's not what I do. It's just not the Because you don't, you're not there for me to play more dates. There you go. The way the world should work. Now, I guess what... Yeah. Exactly. Where are the 300 pages? Where, I think they were actually 600 pages. Where's the 600 pages? Where are they? And don't just zoom into fucking source code on your fucking phone. Just give us the evidence. Again, I'm such a fan of Derek... When I woke up this morning, I, literally, I was like, No, you're not a fan of Derek. You're doing that fucking fake hand thing. So you're not a fan. Like, man, I wonder what the fuck. You, why would you do that to this poor guy? Granted, he did lie, stuff like that. But then I went, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Let's, rewind that. Let's rewind back. Let's rewind back. Let's rewind back. Guess what? Again, I'm such a fan of Derek. When I woke up this morning, I, literally, I was like, man, I wonder what the fuck. You, why would you do that to this poor guy? Granted, he did lie, stuff like that. Granted, he did lie. Oh, man, I was just looking at the fucking, um, what you call it? I was looking at the, um, I was looking at the, oh, what does guy's name again, man? What's that, what's that fucking name? What is it? Uh, uh, French Magazine Massacre. What is it? 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 Charlie Hebdo. Yeah, I was just wondering, man. Why would why would you go ahead and you know, why would the Charlie Hebdo people be you know fucking sent to prison or whatever it may be? But I just wonder. Oh yeah, they did go and fucking you know, murder an entire office full of Magic Magazine editors because they dared to write or draw a depiction of fucking Allah on Mohammed in their magazine. That makes complete sense. Yeah, that makes complete sense. I was wondering, with Jeffrey Dahmer, why would he send that poor guy to prison? Oh yeah, he did just, you know, go to the most, you know, deprived and downtrodden areas in America and take advantage of their lax police forces and de decapitate and eat fucking, you know, scores of <laughs> black people in neighborhoods to the point where people can't even actually get an accurate number of who people he took out. Yeah, that's complete sense. Like, what the fuck? What kind of defense is this? What kind of defense is this? Yeah, he did lie, but, you know, let him off. So he's basically doing that professional courtesy thing with a lot of them do, where, you know, I'm terrible at comedy, but just don't say it because, you know, we're all trying to make money here. That's essentially what he's doing. There's a professional courtesy that exists in that industry where they never call each other out, even when they when they're all scum because they i guess if you're in a room full of scumbags pointing out another scumbag is essentially like the you know living representation of that spider-man meme but then i went it is kind of his job right it is if he does natty or not and he has the break i have no news, problem with her doing it in a way because it's his I, job. you know i i don't either because like that is what are you saying then can you fucking stand on something you just started off by saying that you you, you thought why you had a poor guy now you're changing your tune again is what he does yeah I mean, you got to know that that's going to come it's, out. It's like being mad. Why did his body It's like being mad that Don Lemon lied to you about COVID. It's his job. <laughs> right? What? Okay. Right? <laughs> Sir. Don, what? Why is that even funny? Don Lemon lied to you about COVID. Why does he love to him? Anyway, I don't know. 
I don't. Why am I trying to understand that? Right. I can, I, right. I, no, no. Don't get me. Don't bring me Come in. Come on, here. Don Lemon. He, I don't know. I don't like your metaphors and comparisons, man. I don't know. Hold on. Why? Why Jeez, do you? I think, I'm suppressed on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think this all happened? Like, what? Why? Why did his coach go bad on him? His coach is the one. Oh, who that, go bad oh. That's the, there's the fucking root of the problem. Yeah. Hey, coach. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the coach. He's the root of the problem, not the fucking guy that lied. All right, I'm done with this.